that, you, you okay. know that was one of the songs okay. that I was just talking about. Okay. Catch me in it. Cherry Red 150. Did you like in the city? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, like pus. Hey, pus. Hey, gus. Hey. All right. Good. No prep. Round one. Okay. No prep. Round one. I didn't prep. Round I didn't prep one. Five we seconds. can tell. No. It's uncomfortable at first. Uh, what's poppin' people? It's gonna be uncomfortable for the rest of the fucking What show. is poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Say Less with Kaz. Hey. Low key. What up? What up? And Rosie. What's good, Rosie? What's good? What's good, Low? What's going on, man? What's good, know. people? We, you're on time out, bro. I know. Just, just be on time. I don't out. mind. Like, so here's the thing, right? It's basically an inch of fabric that's making y'all so un uncomfortable, right? That's not an inch. You no, know, I'm saying if there was you, an you, extra, you, 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 you went fabric. really <laughs> risky. You went from here <laughs> only wearing to an like of fabric, guys. boom boom short. Like, These are boom boom short. Yes, These they are, are guys. You know, there's a lot. The male version. There's not left, not much left to the imagination when it comes to these shorts, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that for two reasons, right? One, you asked me. Well, you asked me. I asked you shit. You, you did. <laughs> you I said, asked you shit about your. You post. said when I go to the store, do you like try clothes on? I'm like, no, I don't. You just. I oh just no, kinda, yeah, I say you like you just look at yeah, shit. I just look at it. Like, yeah, I just I eyeball post. it. I'm like, mm, that works. I think I can do. I think right. I can pull that off. Right. You know what I mean? And like sometimes I, it's I have like a level of I won't wear those outside uh, that. That I get to. What and level this is, like, is This that? is right at the limit. This is definitely the limit. I'm doing a lot right now, bro. I've, <laughs> I, I, I literally, don't, I don't think you have a. I'm limit. I'm doing a lot right now. I don't think you do either. So let me tell you something. So Jasmine, like you didn't brought, put them on and, and you didn't feel naked. I did, but I was like, you know what? I'm comfortable like this. <laughs> so you're new to script. I'm okay. I'm okay like that. Like I, I put them on knowing like there's a lot of there's a lot happening it's, on the internet. I, I, nice. I think there's like a like a a, a certain purpose you yeah. do that for here. Nah, like it's 99 degrees out right now though. And you but have a hot. long sleeve black That's shirt. That's what I'm saying. See, this is it's what I'm thin, saying. Though. It's and thin. so are your pants. You don't feel naked? I feel great. I feel fantastic. Do you have anything under the, the black shirt? No, nah, it's nothing under here. Like no wife beater. No, nah, nothing. Okay. Oh, I am so Spice. uncomfortable. So it's just sweat. So it's just sweat. <laughs> it's like. me and Old Spice. Not with Old Spice, okay. huh? That's okay. not even an ad. That's just <laughs> good ass deal. I just, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do that. Okay. I, and I give you credit for doing that. But I see a lot. It of does take a lot of confidence I, yeah, to pull off a lot that. of meat. I can't down do here. I can't. I'm not talking about the thigh meat because that's already disrespectful. I mean, that's what you're. That's what you're referring to, right? That's about the long sleeve black shirt in. In 95 degree heat. Oh, well, no. That like, I can't do. I don't mind this. I don't mind the long sleeve. And I mind this whole time. thing. You have like a jacket. You have like a jacket. It's, so a, it's a shirt. Oh. Well, I mean, like, you're pretty much naked under there. So. I am. Yeah. But at least I know that and I'm aware and I'm trying to come. I'm up. also That's aware. I'm comfortable. You don't care, so though. No you're both you, you don't care. I know what you're both trying to do, like trying to shame me into like all this skin <laughs> that I'm doing. <laughs> trying? It's not going to work today. You're doing it yourself. <laughs> you trying? It. I'm not, it's not working. Nigga, as soon as you stepped out of Jersey, you shamed yourself. What the fuck? My whole as thing soon is... that he hit me... Right. So here's the thing, right? When I, th when I threw him on, I did have the same sort of like thought you had. Like, damn, these are a little short. Mm -hmm. It's a little short. Mm -hmm. And you know, you, you compensate with nice sock, a nice sock at you compliment. You know I mean? shout, uh, out to, shout out to the good folks at Eye Socks. These jaw socks I really liked. Mm -hmm. I wanted to accentuate that. Okay. And then I stepped outside and I was like, it is hot as balls out here. These are okay. It's too late. You committed. It's okay. I'm already committed. It's okay. I mean, whatever you know, whatever makes you comfortable makes me uncomfortable. I was walking around in these shorts in LA too. <laughs> <laughs> whatever makes you comfortable makes me uncomfortable, and I love that's, it. That's I, I love it more. Same. Than I, I second that. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate I thought I was bugging though. That's why I was like, "Low, let me ask you a question." <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad you started to show off like that. Because well, I got, I, so I, I had boxes. I, I was wondering I was how like, I was going to do it. They're always small, but I was like, are they smaller? Yeah. yeah he, he what did. are you coming in next? A uh, Speedo? Uh, Bro, stop. So here's the thing. When you, when you sit like this, it eventually stuff will ride up. God. So you don't want it to ride up a little bit. So I'm just. Mm. See how comfortable so these comfortable. shorts are? Look how comfortable. Good for you. Those are fine. Free breathing Those are, room down this here. This is okay. Just sit. I, I understand what's happening here. You're not gonna shame me for my short thighs. <laughs> we're not. We especially are. not this summer. Yeah. Like we're like the short thought. The short short community has been so empowered. The hoochie daddy. 
I don't. I refuse to call hoochie daddy shorts. Well, that's what they are. I refuse. To, I refuse to use those phrasing. That phrasing is is. Uh, I mean that. I mean Bobby Schmurter coined it or whoever coined it. But that phrasing, you are the epitome of the hoochie daddy shorts. That phrasing is. Um, what would you call them? What would you call them? So right? so okay. So I don't know how old school anyone is, but uh, do you remember that it was like when you put your your arms next to your thighs yes. for women, like they're not supposed to go like a certain <laughs> inches above your fingers. Okay. Like Can a you mid, do like that? a certain midriff. No, I could. No, 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 stand. Up, put your arms down. Oh my God! You are exceeding. No, wait, no, 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 no. Why are you doing this in front? That of is too close. short. Oh They're supposed to be beneath your fingertips. Let me know if this is. I'll, I'll, let me know if this is a lot right now. Okay, like you see this. See this, all right? You see what's happening here? I feel like Kaz is about to do the 40-yard dash <laughs> for the long jump. These shorts aren't crazy. I'm just a big guy, so everything looks a little crazier when I wear them. And you know and that. And I'm okay with that. So why big and tall clothes? I like... These are big and tall clothes. <laughs> There's nothing big and tall about that <laughs> yes, outfit. Yes, it is. You're just uncomfortable with meat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> You're just uncomfortable with the amount of skin and meat that's being shown. It's really not a lot in the grand scheme of things. It's really I, Well, as the only woman in the room, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> and she brought it up. I didn't I'm even say she. She brought it up. I was like, Kaz, what? Why does this make you uncomfortable? Because they're worse than gray sweats. They aren't gray. Listen. We can see everything. Uh, okay. I know Lo is Wait, uncomfortable. You, you looking? <laughs> No. I mean, it's not. But, it's, it's not, not much. There's not much to hide here, man. It's you here. Can't really hide it's it. It's here. Like I know what I was doing. Oh, <laughs> I, know, I know how to block shit out. I'll look at. Nah, I'll look at the thing. audience the entire episode. And I can nah. still have a conversation with y'all. Summertime, you're keep man. Doing you know, this, you like... know what we're doing. You know what's happening <laughs> out here. There's not being. It's. I'm not trying to hide it. Women can do it all the time. They can do it all bro, the time. Stop they looking can at me all with your legs open. Can... <laughs> stop looking in my eyes, I'm bro. just not going to look that look way. Why? No, don't look at me either. Why are you uncomfortable? Don't look over here. Why? Kaz, look at me. What Wolf. is happening? <laughs> look See, at If Jake. the roles were reversed right now, you know how much I'd be getting shamed? <laughs> like, Rosie, don't wear that. If the roles were reversed, no, 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 no. everybody would be like, mm -hmm. Rosie. <laughs> Rosie. She is kind of old. I do see some shit I'm not, I don't want to see. This nigga or maybe I, like, I don't know. Embrace it, Niall. Embrace you it. know what's going on. Hey. I'm like, damn, just like try to close your legs. Just please. That is. He really does. He really does. He has the. Ew. I'm a team player. I'm a team player. <laughs> like Black Bolt in the <laughs> Doctor okay, Strange. Right. It's like one view of this. That's all. Right. All right. That's, that's all. I, I'm, I'm respectfully tapping <laughs> out of this conversation. I know I started it, but. Thank you guys so much Sheesh. for tuning in last week. Incredible episode. Shout out Loon. Uh, incredible guest. So much great feedback uh, from that episode. Yeah. And of course. Make sure to subscribe to youtube.com slash Kazim. Make sure you are a subscriber to every social platform on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, mm -hmm. Snapchat. And of course, everywhere you stream podcasts, whether it be Apple, Spotify, Google, Amazon, wherever. Right. Thank you guys for tuning in. That was fantastic. But let's get right to the shits. Okay. Let's get right to the shits. Outside of this shit, oh, uh, <laughs> there's a disturbance. There's been a disturbance in the disturbance. in the Bronx. Oh yeah, there's been a disturbance in the in the, in the Bronx power structure uh, this week. Mm -hmm. Is it a disturbance? Um, it is a disturbance. I think it is. I think there was it was there's a lot two, of razzle dazzle going on up there. There was two seismic events that took place in the Bronx okay. this week mm -hmm. okay. that we have to talk about because I was out of town, so put me on. You were out of town. Well, I will put you on. <clears throat> Where were you? You were in group chats. So you knew what was happening. Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, man, I gotta, I gotta say, uh, the Jesus and Meryl breakup is something that I feel like we gotta talk about. That I is mean, did a they huge... talk about it? Did they, they haven't. They haven't said anything. But or stories much. are starting to trickle out now okay. um, about what happened between the two. For those who, I mean, if you listen to the show and don't know who Jesus and Meryl is, but for those who may not know, uh, Jesus and Meryl. Uh, incredible comedy duo, both from the Bronx. Hilarious. Hilarious, A-list, critically acclaimed mm. shows mm. on Vice, Complex, uh, and now Showtime. Uh, abruptly announced their breakup and uh, Showtime not renewing <clears throat> their show for a fourth season. Um, and a lot of people reacted. There was a lot of reactions that kind of... Ping, 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 ping. Ping, pinged uh, all over social media, TV, news, whatever. And for you know, I think for folks, I think I think we're, we're we're our show is uniquely equipped to talk about this because I feel like a lot of us 
that either came up in the blog era, social media era, Twitter era, whatever, kind of all had a vested interest in like Diaz and Mero's success because we all kind of saw it happen. Uh, me personally, you know, uh, 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 back way, way, way back, back when I was working at The Source, uh, rest in peace to legendary Combat Jack. Combat, I first met Mero uh, because Combat Jack used to give Mero a, a, a column in the source. Mm -hmm. Just kind of like have So is Mero the Spanish one? Or yes, Mero's the Spanish one. Okay. These is the black one. The black one. And it's you confusing. should know these things. It's confusing though. <laughs> it does sound Because these sound Spanish and Mero sounds Well, that's black. just your, your Dominican stuff. All right, cool. It's not Jesus. It's Might Jesus. be. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus? <laughs> that was mad racist. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't know. I always thought... Desus was, De I, Jesus. I, I, I would say this. <laughs> See, exactly. You, that's she, why. She okay, saw see. the word as like, Desus. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I always thought he was Spanish. I thought he was the Jesus Dominican the one. Black one. <laughs> he's Jamaican. Okay, okay. He's, I think he's Caribbean. That he's is very so Jamaican. racist. It's a nickname. Yes, that's not his actual name. Okay. Yeah. His real name. I, if you, you want to look up the Daniel Baker. See, that's easy. Go, yeah, exactly. Er. <laughs> you put Desus in front of me. I'm like... <laughs> He's definitely the one with the platanos up in his ear. Many times as Rosie tries to stuff the Dominican down. It right. Just, <laughs> it, pops back up. it pops back out in certain moments. I don't try to stuff it down. It just, I don't know. The whole time. This whole time. Whole time. Sorry, sorry. This whole time. There's something hilarious about Rosie the whole time thinking Jesus was the, was the Spanish one. I <laughs> really do think that. And I always use that little meme with the platanos. It's no, it's, it's, and I thought it was... It's extremely ironic. It is very ironic. It's but very anyway, ironic. okay. So right, continue right. what I was saying. Right. Uh, Mero, uh, I first met Mero through Combat Jack, mm -hmm. who um, used to do a column on the source uh, where Mero would kind of get his rants. And then um, for a long time, uh, Charlemagne had me on the show called MTV2's uh, Uncommon Sense mm -hmm. that ran for about three seasons. Mm -hmm. I always tell people it was, it was a show that was before its time because it was like fresh out of like the guy code era mm. and it was like a weekly show with like Charlemagne at the helm, Andrew Schultz, myself, uh, uh, Zuri Hall who, who kills it for all like E! News and Extra, um, and Di Zamero and Kill, Tax Stone. Kid Fury. Tax Stone, Kid Fury. Uh, Chico Bean um, and uh, Wax. Everybody sees the uh, the not really uh, meme with yeah. with Ja Rule and and Tax Loans from that show. And uh, and these Amaro were on the show as well. And um, these Amaro were like they would always get like their own specific segments to just kind of like do their own thing. And mm -hmm. this is kind of like the precursor to that show. So I remember that season finale. I think on season three when they were wrapping the show up. And, uh, you know, it was a big celebration, dapping people up, dapping Mero up. He's like, yeah, niggas, we out of here. I'm like, out of here? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what you mean we out of here? He's like, yeah, man, we got this Vice thing about to pop off and, you know, we about to go do this thing, whatever. And mm -hmm. they go to Vice and obviously the rest is history. You know what I'm saying? Like, they already was doing anything on Complex, doing anything on other networks. But, you know, uh, being in writer's rooms with those guys and, you know, getting to do shows with them and just, you know, and just being like, you know, I, 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 we're not the closest of friends, but right. like that's definitely people that always show love, right. always see each other through like Knicks games at the Garden, everything. You know course, what I'm saying? Course. So, these Amaro success uh, is uh, extremely close to my heart and definitely a lot of people's hearts. So when that news broke on Twitter the other day, you yeah. could kind of see the, the the range of emotions. Like, damn man, like first the fat boys break up, yeah, like yeah, type yeah. shit, and you know, and it's it's unfortunate because it seems like well. You know, it well, it doesn't seem like we saw it. But the past 10 years, that's a brand that was built on friendship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the brand is Brolic and, you know, the Bodega Hive and yeah. all this type of stuff. And they got, like, an extra layer afterwards, after, like, you know, they kind of popped off on social media as being, like, the unofficial, like, New York spokesman. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, to the A-list. Yeah. You feel me? So, yeah. like, they'll be on Kimmel yeah. and they'd be on Fallon yeah. and they'd do... They, they were interviewing Obama, bro. Like, they, they just they got, had Denzel, got Derek, Jeter. Derek Jeter, like, A-list, A-list, A-list. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, they were on the, they're in the the, the ESPN doc, the, the captain, mm -hmm. Derek Jeter, that just uh, was dropping this week. So, long story short, those guys have had tremendous success. And even their success has trickled down to, like, a lot of content creators within, you know, the city, within, you know, this circle of people that have, you know, benefited from that mm. because you know for people that were that successful and didn't really change who they were they were still kind of just you know every i think what they're i think what really drew people a lot into them is that 
I feel like anybody who grew up in New York grew up around people that act like Jesus and Mero. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, they were also hella funny. They were doing incredible, insightful interviews. They 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 didn't code switch, you know what I'm saying? Like they were very much stay true to who they are. So seeing them break up was definitely like a bummer. You know what I mean? What the and and I was trying to do my research and yeah. I, I you know I, I couldn't really put the pieces together. So I, you know, I asked you, mm-hmm. um, do you do you know the core of so a story did just come out uh, saying, uh, let me let me see if I can get the the the, the, the direct details here, but uh, a story came out on Puck.com about the manager. Puck, yeah, about the manager, Puck News, uh, saying the manager Victor Lopez is what ended the the the, the, the partnership, right? Vic. Um, allegedly. So, okay, my fault. Allegedly, uh, there was you know, from this dude, there was complaints. There was. Um, from Showtime and didn't want him on there. And apparently the manager. the manager of the duo. And from what I was told, allegedly, um, one of the guys was like, that's our guy. And the other guy was like, nah, man, we, we can't. Need, we need to get someone We need else. to get some. We kind of need to move on. And apparently uh, things like that might have escalated uh-huh. towards them to not just the podcast breaking up, which I think a lot of people thought it was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not no more podcasts, but also That's initially no what I thought it was. Exactly. Yeah. Like I thought initially it was like, oh, okay, like they're well, blowing up. Done. All right, they cool. can't just do the podcast no more. So once the the showtime deal was announced that it was done, that's when everybody was like, oh man, something must have happened. Right. You know what I'm saying? They must have went separate ways. So um them announcing they're gonna go, you know, uh seek their own creative endeavors and which is, split up. Which is a, great. Which is great because I think, you know, well, yeah, now they're established enough to go do. Of course. And you do an act with somebody for over 10 years, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, eventually you're going to be like, all right, like, what can I do on my own? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, you know, we're proud to them on that. But it just felt so abrupt and sudden. Yeah, you know like, I, well, like, like I put in a group chat. I'm like, yo, y'all see this? Yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm just scrolling. I'm like, what? Yeah. It's like you, you look at them and, like you said, like, they're, like, the unofficial spokesman of New York City. And it's just mm. like, you you look at them like, man, they'll always be good. Like, yeah. Them, they're going to. Go oh, to the top, like kidding me. Yeah. Let me tell y'all I, I, I something. Don't gotta worry about like yeah. they, they was gonna be our our generations, like um, uh, like the two old Muppets. In, yeah, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like those dudes that there's a comedy yeah, like, duo. That's it. Like they're gonna grow all all notes, together. Like Cisco yeah. and Ebert. Right. Like, like, that's, they're, like they're, that's not. So you see you it. Know? It's just like, excuse me. Right. Like there was. But you a, know what? I feel like there's something else going on because for. Like, if we went on for 10 plus years, that's not gonna happen to us, right? Hold on, wait. Uh, I would if, hope not. <laughs> I, that's, that's, that's where I was going okay. with this. If we go on, are we for gonna like, have a, a group therapy session yeah, right we now? Are. Yeah, we so are. We, we gotta set this in us? stone. Okay, all, all right. right. So now that everybody's let's watching e- this. Let's even say five okay. plus years, right? And we got deals on the table, which obviously involves a lot of money, right? Yes, yes, and a yes. lot of opportunities outside of this. Yes. Do you guys understand what y'all will have to do to me for me to be like, Fuck that money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? It can't just be a disagreement. Right. But at the same... Exactly. Right? So... And then I can't think of anything y'all... I mean, we'll y'all see, can't fuck my dude. I mean, well, y'all can't fuck me over that hard. So... We'll see. Okay. There's see, not much y'all can do But see, like, see, a lot of these things... And mouse. <laughs> what fucking mouse? He's not wolf. mouse. That's wolf. That is wolf. wolf. Mouse, whatever. Mouse. Jesus. Because they're, they're animals. Both animals and they have hair. <laughs> and he just gets them okay. confused. That is wolf, not mouse. <laughs> From guys next door, damn it. Oh, Go ahead. No, I, oh, I think I think with a, a lot of these situations you see, you know, with podcasts breaking up and, you know, people going their separate ways, I think it's a lot of underlining issues that never are really addressed. And right. they just fester and fester and fester and fester. And when one thing happens, you know, energy from another situation is dragged into that energy. And then yeah. it's just like a, a snowball effect. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah. I think, you know, when you have these collectives, when you have these personalities... A lot of those things aren't addressed because you think, oh, we're friends. We'll get over it. It'll be whatever yeah. it is. And then something else happens, and you're still pissed off from over here. And now you got to bring business and money. I just can't and, think and of and a deals. scenario that, that I, I, I don't. I couldn't. I mean, I can tell you, I've been part of one. <laughs> like I've been part of a very, you know, high profile like podcast breakup. And you know, like on top, like obviously, money is always going to be something that's you know front and center. Like that's something that you always that like, can divide. But, not or, even just divide, but that's something that conquer. you always have to kind of keep in the back of your head when it comes to, like, anything that you could get into your feelings about. Right. Like, when it comes to... And again, I haven't really spoken to either of them. I mean, um, since these this news broke, but I'm just speaking from my point of view, yeah. being in that a situation that's kind of similar, um, it has to be something where 
you can look at the money that could be made or you know that you're currently making and it has to just not jive with your your personal values anymore mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like it has to be like not saying like i'm what i want to walk away from this money but it's just like well what has happened to you personally that you feel like a dollar amount isn't going to repair you know what i mean and it, when you get to that point it's not necessarily like it's not it's never just one thing you're right like it's it's something that had to be accumulating but that's what i'm saying like it, it's something that's festering right and you're not addressing so it's 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 a a certain amount of open wounds of course of that course. have not been reconciled and you're still trying to work and you're still trying to negotiate and you're still trying to keep the chemistry mm -hmm. but you're not addressing what the underlying issue is and yeah i feel like that's that, that's what happens with a lot of these situations yeah and obviously i don't we don't know I mean, we've happened. seen it. We've seen it with, with, with Budden and Rory and Maul. We've yeah. seen it with, you know, in my situation. Mm -hmm. uh, we're seeing it now with Deez and Mero. Um, and we've seen it with other, you know, popular shows. Like, you know, and everybody who... But that also before, makes me question how close were they before they started doing this? Or did they just start doing it and realize they had something? I mean, I don't know. That's, yeah, they started doing it and realized they had something. They had something. Yeah, they, yeah. So they were never, like, beforehand. They, yeah, they didn't come in the game together. That's, okay, you know see? I mean? like, I'm well, that, that could have something to do with it, like too. 05, though. Like yeah. 05, 06, that's, like, 17, 18 years. Or yeah, like, I don't know. I'm not, saying that's, some, 05, that's no, something I, I, that could. I don't think it was that. It had to be, like, it had to be around, like. That could have a lot to do with it. 2011, I want to say. Like, turn of, the, turn of the decade. Like, Mero had his own online following. These had their own online following. And as, like, Twitter, and especially black Twitter, and just, like, event Twitter. Twitter and just it started to formulate you know yeah. like every big event like you know this was it's weird to explain to people now because like we have like apps that you can go viral in and become successful or leverage opportunities like TikTok or like Instagram or whatever but like when Twitter really started to get its footing like folks that had like either a good following or good tweets or good ideas they'd get calls from people be like yo Let's see. Yeah, we should probably do something around these people. Well, I, why I got did been you raise in. your hand? No, because I was one of those. I was oh. one of those people. We were all, yeah. Like I, I've, I've gotten. I, I can pat myself on the back. Of no, course. No, but no, but too. just for people listening, nobody saw you do that. So I wanted oh. to. <laughs> hey, I just raised my hand and pat myself on the back because I was one of those people in Twitter early that had great ideas and great tweets. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I, it's, it's hard to put a dollar amount on how much money nah, I've made. Well, it's hard to put a dollar amount on the money we've both made yeah. just being good at Twitter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And at the time when it was really like wild, wild primordial, ooze, <laughs> primordial ooze and Wild Wild West, these Demero were the best at Twitter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody could fuck with them. Yeah. And their success, like, I mean, you, shit, they still there. You see so much tweets when, like, people are like, yo, you know what sucks? And somebody's online personality doesn't match up with who they are I in don't real like life. I that either, though. That's, that's why these they were success so good. was so incredible because their <coughs> online personality was just matched up to, like, who they reality, were as yeah, people. Yeah. And then there was, some, there was folks that tried to follow that model as well. Like, I've... If I had a dollar for every marketing meeting or every uh, 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 um, um, uh, PowerPoint presentation I sat through that either had these Zamero in it mm -hmm. or was inspired by it, um, especially when it came to social media personalities, because it was like, hey, we're trying to create some content. We're trying to create some shows. We need people to be at the forefront of these things. Who do we find? We don't want to spend money to get like established TV guys. We don't want to spend money to go. We and want get, like, up and coming stuff. people. Where are the, the up and the where movie? are the up and coming yeah. people? And yeah. for a while, Black Twitter was that place. That was like that was the the, the melting pot for yes. creativity. Yes, like for a lot of like all right, who is it? Where is it? What do they do? How do we get to them? How much are they worth? This, that, and the third. A hundred percent. So <laughs> many uh, 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 media companies. So many brands. So many people that just have money to spend was like the creators on black twitter are what we need to do xyz and some people have seen a no and these are not the only people as well like I, I think just off the top of my head like matthew cherry mm -hmm. another guy mm -hmm. former nfl player who had a great twitter presence tweeted a bunch of things and had a great following and then you know you get to know oh well actually i write scripts oh, okay and then now that he's an oscar winner bro you know what i'm saying like and, now, and that's and <laughs> i've seen his progression from from day one yeah. and it's just it's it's fun to watch these guys and and you know guys and women who are so creative on twitter turn it into you know a brand or turn it into a show and there was a lot of people that were creative on twitter that are not. Who, who did not? Yeah, like <laughs> who did not translate well right, at all, right, right, right? right? Like there were folks that had bigger followings than any of the people we mentioned. Yeah. And then they got opportunities to like and be on TV or blustered. be in front of. And it was just like, 
Mm, that ain't the same. That's not. This ain't that's that. not what we're looking that. for. Yeah, that's yeah. not what we're looking for. This I can't that. stand that. Yeah, I cannot stand. Like, <laughs> that's a real even real coming thing, across though. somebody's Instagram or profile or Twitter or I don't know. Snap. And like realizing like <laughs> you're not funny. Yeah. Or you don't even look the same. Like that bothers me. <laughs> Is the, you, is okay, it worse? All right, okay, is it fair. worse to be? It, it bothers me though because it's like Rosie, you question, tricked me. Question: Bitch. <laughs> Do you feel Do you feel worse when your personality catfished or physically catfished? Well, <laughs> it, as a be, woman, right. I'm gonna say personality. Personality's worse. I feel, right? like, I feel like women are are better at catfishing on Instagram than men. Of course, right? So, but I but as a woman, personality like if if I'm on your Twitter or whatever and you're funny, then I meet you and you're not. Yes, I'm like you're actually corny women are intellectual that's creatures that's crazy you, you're not matching anything who's tweeting for you yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter but that can also be a gift and a curse but also i will say this that could be a low when i first met low i didn't think he matched his twitter oh yeah low is definitely because, twitter no 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 <laughs> i'm gonna tell you why oh. i don't think he did because he oh, was, you didn't he was, think he did? No. Yeah, that's, that's oh. What, no. So I'm like, my oh, okay, my bad. Because, no, go ahead, because right. when I met him, he was more reserved and quiet. Yes. So I was like, and he was sitting in a corner tweeting. <laughs> and I was like, I bet you he's Sounds being, like I was like, he's probably being funny as fuck <laughs> on Twitter right now. And look at him here. But there's nothing. Look at him right here. Probably, just not there, even there interacting. There's probably nothing no. around me that was but it didn't matter engaging. to me. I expected to meet. But like, that's you want to like, so, do cartwheels so, and yeah. tell jokes. Yeah, entertain That's the thing. So yeah. that's, like, that's what so you that's want. That's the thing, though. Yes. That's the thing that's interesting. Do a flip. Dance, nigga, dance. <laughs> that's the thing that's interesting. There's hey, folks yo. that I know like that. Like, there's folks that I've talked to that have, like, incre like uh, a guy I talk to a lot is, like, Shiggy, right? Mm -hmm. Like, who at one point was one of the biggest online personalities. And there's, like, a gift and a curse to that because once people meet you in real life, they expect you to be on. Like, almost like, right. you know, like, there's, like, a certain weird sort of... Like if you like if you run into Al Pacino, you're not gonna be like nigga do Scarface. Right. <laughs> like, I don't know, I might. Not gonna, yeah, so, some I might start might. talking like that to but, see if he does it back. <laughs> but it's weird though, because like if you follow somebody for for uh, on social media for what they bring you there, and it doesn't you know match up to what you see, you almost feel disappointed, and then you go on that. See, right, like, see, like man, I saw it. Do. He ain't even like that in real life. So I see, see like, you. I in feel like I can speak to that because it's like yeah, like you know. My Twitter is, is funny, you know, I crack jokes, we talk music, you know, I speak about Jameson, hookah, all this other stuff. Now, if you if you actually sit with me or in my environment, the things that I'm talking about are the things that I'm doing. Yeah. And then the conversation comes out and then you start to see like, oh, that is him. Yeah. That that's how yeah. he talks, that how he acts. And then it's a we, hard it's a hard balance. But I'm not to I'm, be I'm not gonna walk into a fucking spot and be like, Jameson, hookah, yeah, music. Like, <laughs> but I'm, people I'm, expect you that, to but do I'm that. Just not doing that. If somebody's been following you for but ten years is, and they meet you for the first time. They're like, man, I, I met Luke. I met uh, Low the other day. He wasn't right. smoking no hookah or nothing. Yeah, he was. He was phony. You're like, hey, he don't even drink water. Water. <laughs> he had water in his hand. <laughs> no, but at, the thing is with Low, like after a while, not not even like like put time in, but it's like even as the night evolves, yeah, yeah, yeah. the drunker he gets, yeah. <laughs> You start it, seeing it real was, like it was, Twitter it was low, right there, right? Exactly. <laughs> you start, just need that you start seeing low key. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm like, just get that personality of, lubricant in them a little bit. I'm like, all right, come on, let's go. Hey, this, this, we have so many AOs already. I mean, he started <laughs> with the shorts. We're all with lubricants. It's. I mean, well, he did it like this. Oh uh, yeah, I feel like I, yeah, that was me. Into, that was me Cass? motioning Cass? the liquor going into your body. Yeah, put the lube on. Like what? I don't want to know what the hell goes on. The liquor was my by my spinning. That's the elixir. Yeah, the that's. <laughs> Look at the Popeye spinach. If, what out. was a cartoon? He'd squeeze a bottle of Jameson. <laughs> <laughs> it's like bloom, bloom, like the anchors. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, no, but, but no, but. His fitted you know. changes. <laughs> <laughs> the fitted spins around and lands back in his head. It's <laughs> like, come here, bring it up. Got some fresh white sauce. Like, <laughs> a cheat sheet pops I'm up. I'm ready. <laughs> Fucking hookah, the fucking spouts pop the out of his fingers. Like, <laughs> He's like, anybody need a hookah tip? He's like, I got five. <laughs> <laughs> blum, 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 blum. Those are shit. Okay, This is the best right, party host there is. All right, now. All right, you're done? It's enough. a gift. Okay, it was, enough. It was, it was, all right, Kiki. You key. saw it in your head, though, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started seeing good. it. Okay, enough. <laughs> anyway, we say all that to say, um, these Amaro's success uh, was incredibly, uh, I think we all had a vested interest in it, right? So... It's been a while since like I went on the timeline and I just seen like every everybody just 
bombed, bro. Like people, look, people saying like, I, you can't let academics win. <laughs> like, shit like yeah, that. But I didn't get that. Like, what was, I didn't understand. Yeah, what that. was that? Uh, you know, just you know, so oh, the, a classic oh, episode. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I remember. These yeah, Amaro with him and academics got into it, but academics, hey man. Why does he get into it with everybody? He's that's his. That's what he does, bro. We're not. Yeah, I'm not. What he does. Not, when you're not, hey man, he, and what he does. Does Nobody, well, does well. there is not many people better at internet than that dude. So like going into a tip for tat with him, I'm just like, eh. mm, cool. I'd rather not. I know my, <laughs> know my strengths. Um, cool. But these Amaro breaking up is is super fu super whack, and um, you know hopefully it's it's nothing that's too personal that the two can't you know eventually come back and 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 see uh, uh, you know what they've built i guess even like the response to them breaking up hopefully that kind of i mean makes things kind of change like damn we really did i mean two things can be true some great know? things together the first thing is you know um you outgrow people okay right very true you outgrow people and that 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 causes you to lose creativity lose chemistry lose the foundation of what once you know it was built on mm-hmm but also, you could still want to keep going. You still want to have that same energy. But, I, you know, not not to, to criticize or whatever, I, it, it may not be the same thing for them. It may okay. not be the same. Ten years is a long time, man. A long Ten time years is a to long keep time. that shit yeah. going, to keep that energy moving. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I just want to be a going. husband at this We're, point. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I just mean, want to be with my family. Girls got a wife and kids, bro. Like, Jesus bro, is yeah, exactly. probably want to chase other things. Like, yeah. they, you know, after a while, like, people's priorities change. And as much as, like, what they did was great, there's definitely, like, a, 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 there's a point of, like, going out on top. That I think mm -hmm. is is uh, 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 you know I say a that silver about lining when it comes time. to this, right? Like, I'm always like, y'all should tap out before you get washed. Leave them with a more. <laughs> you gotta leave them with a more. Tap is, out while you're still good. <laughs> that is the 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 incredibly tight sort of tightrope any entertainer walks or athlete walks. It's like, yo, get out while you still can, or leave something when it's great. Don't let it, you know, don't let the quality ever come down. You know what I'm saying? Like, leave it on top is a hard thing to do. And even though, you know, like, it sucks that it, it is how it kind of rolled out, in a way, there's, like, a sort of a weird sort of, I'm not, you know, comparing them to Seinfeld at all, but, like, the thing that makes Seinfeld, you know, stand the test of time is that there were no whack episodes. Like, when it ended, it was still the number one show. It was the top show. Nobody was messing with dude. And, you know, because of that, it's only became like greater yeah. as you know we've gotten away from it the appreciation and you appreciate it more damn get that water <laughs> and uh i could only hope like with the content these amaro did to you know put together especially when it comes to new yorkers especially when it comes to out of towners who wanted to know what new york was even sort of like yeah. you know what i'm saying like you know they're very important to a lot of people you know so i would hope that the, even though the circumstances around the breakup sucks or possibly sucks, we're just reading from reports or whatever, um, one could hope that the fact that they left with so many people disappointed, still wanting more from them, and still probably putting out top-tier content together makes all that stuff that they've done age better. And, and not to keep harping on it, but I, like I keep saying, two things can be true. They, they probably still love each other to death, uh -huh. but it's time to, to pivot. Yeah. And, yeah. and there's nothing wrong with that. That time happens, man. Like that time that. happens, and it's hard. It's hard to be able to be like, okay, like. Why they ain't just say that to us though? I mean, we don't, we don't, we don't deserve a reason. We, yeah. we, we, we don't deserve. We're to, fans. To, to, fans like, are selfish. You know, fans, fans are selfish. Are, listen, they're and again, we're entitled. We know that. Again, to speak on, uh, speak on a personal uh, uh, situation when when the the breakup of Flagrant happened, and mm -hmm. and Andrew and Akash kind of did their thing. I said my piece, and you know. That fan base is was is rabid, and it's a lot of people that listen to the show. So every, there's still this motherfuckers day, in our comments. To like, this day, they're I'm still like, like "Yo, leave that shit alone." Come on, and and no, and here's the thing: I'm not even mad at them about it. It just right. lets you know, like, okay, like you left a good impression on these people. Like you did something that you know people still talk about and people still enjoy. Man, that's, and how, they just that's how more about it. Yeah, exactly, and and they, and they still want more about. It. So I I definitely went from. And then leave it alone mm -hmm. to, okay, I understand why it's like that. And, you know, at the same time, it gives you more of appreciation for it. Like, as the time kind of goes away, especially when you're trying to build something else, right. build something that's probably more true to what you, you, you do. <clears throat> you made a, you, you brought up a great, a great point, which mm -hmm. was kind of where I want to segue into about going out on top. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And, you know, not declining in quality yeah. in regards to being an athlete, entertainer, whatever the case is. It's the hardest thing to do. The hardest thing to do. And, you know, we look at Tom Brady, you know, he retired, I retired, blah, 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 you know, back and forth. Then we look at Hove. Mm -hmm. You know, he did the interview with Kevin Hart on uh, Heart to Heart with Peacock. And Kevin was asking him about retiring, and he's like, I'm never, you know, I don't know if I'm making a full album, but he's still active. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I look at him, and I'm like, the whole thing about going out on top, we've had this conversation with him when he, you know, he retired, and the Black Album was supposed to be the last one. The right. Kingdom Come came, and that wasn't the greatest thing. But he still got better and better and better and better. Yeah. And now he's at, what, 53 years old? Mm. Hennessy celebrates those who never stop and never settle in their never-ending pursuit of greatness. Maurice Ashley lives his passion. Through his love of chess, he made history in 1999 as the world's first black grandmaster. An inspiring story of intellect and brilliance, his ability to push through the potential of his own mind to new levels of greatness is universally inspiring. Visit Hennessy.com to learn more about Maurice Ashley. In the world of the mind, there are no limits. Hennessy, never stop, never settle. When does it end for him? I don't think it never ends. I think in the... In in any sort of creative field, like when, when, in anyone in that, in that, in that stratosphere of his quality of, of content and art, right? Like, when does it end? Because they have, I so, think, I think it so never ends because rap's not a job for him anymore. At one point, rap was a job. Like, at one point, rap was like, this is what I do to make my money, right? You know what I'm saying? Now, that's clearly not the case, yeah, of course. And it could be looked at more as an art form now. So, when you're creative and you know. What who you are is so tied into the art you create, you can never retire from that. And he and he and he said like what you're pretty much getting at. He said that he was like, who am I to shut this thing off? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you are so incredibly talented at bringing up Hove whenever the fuck you can. <laughs> <laughs> it's a he, gift. He could tie any it's conversation to Hove. I respect this. <laughs> this I respect is the whole. It's 101 right here. It's like no, Every, it's any any fact. No, you you are, If I was on if I was on Lo, you definitely don't have a master's in whole biology. You don't have a master's in whole biology. If you were on who wants to be a millionaire and there's a whole whole question. Biology. And you got one phone call. <laughs> I'm calling Lo. Yo, if you ever on who wants to be a millionaire and then I have one like, whole Jay question. Jay-Z was born in what hospital at one time. I got it right now. Hold on. I know just the guy. <laughs> I'm not a yo. Listen, all right. See, let me address this because you, I, a, you don't have a master's in whole biology. Listen, you can be, listen. you can have a doctrine. You don't have a doctrine. I have a PhD. You don't have a doctrine. You have a master's in whole biology. Okay. I got a master's in whole like, biology. Like Guru whole has biology. a doctrine in whole biology. Yeah. Guru, Lenny S, Lenny S, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ty, Ty, all them, Emery. No, because I'm very, very fascinated by what he's created. Yeah. How he's created it, where and when. Like mm -hmm. you. you you always continue to learn from like his songs and like, oh shit, like you're just discovering and discovering and discovering. Ooh, I got a good segue for this, can I tell you? So that's why, like, I'm not like, yeah, that Hove is my favorite artist. I don't, yeah, I will tie Hove into any conversation because Hove has a lyric for every situation in life. Anything. Yeah. I could be talking about candy. You know, um, Jay-Z's favorite <laughs> candy. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, right? Oh, no, I don't man. care. No, so like, yes, <laughs> so yes, real. yes, I do have a yes. To yes. continue on the Hove topic real quick, oh. you mentioned that uh uh, you know, his 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 music seems to always age better with time. And Meth Bleak was on, uh, I think, on Just Incredible the other day. Uh -huh. And he was like, you know, when Renegade first came out, everybody was like, yeah, man, M. Washto, M. Washto, M. Washto. But if you go back and listen to that verse right now uh -huh. in 2022. Which I did the other day. Which verse aged better? I think M. It's like. Motherfuckers, he literally says in the in the record, "Do you fools listen to music or do you just skim through it?" I, and I know. Twenty and I, years you know, later, I, I get people it. People are starting to come around and be like, "Damn, maybe M didn't wash over." <laughs> you know I, I don't think he washed. I think you know. I, not, I like that, that was Nas er erasure for a while. Nas yeah. definitely helped hype that a little bit. No, but I do. <laughs> I do think. I do think Eminem had you know the better verse, but it's just like. That's cool, and that's fine. Like, your, your favorite is going to get beat sometimes. See, I don't know. All right, Tom Brady got beat by the Giants twice. I think I think, right? M, I think M had a, a... I think that verse... So Eminem didn't murder him on his own shit. I think M... You know what I compare it to? What? I compare it to Iverson crossing Jordan, where it was like, we know it's Jordan. You know what I'm saying? You know Jordan's probably still going to win the game. 
But for that moment in time, like Iverson came and like gave you buckets and crossed you up. And there's nothing and wrong I, with that. And that was a moment because M was M was on such a trajectory at that point. And then that means he did wash him on. His of course, at that time he was the hot he was the hotter than fish grease at the point. And Nobody it still stands true up, though at that point. But then I went and go. So I so I was like, all right, let me just go. No, because now you're taking to it song. to the. Now you're like, well, who won in, in no, the it's, 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 I'm not even, I'm not even it's, it's literally that. just a moment in time that we loved and we were debating about, and that's what it is. Like, there's not, there's no official answer. No one can say yes. But, this is the right answer. But what I'm saying answer. is, the Nas stuff kind of helped per perpetuate the like, narrative around that. The whole narrative time that was it, like, it oh helped. man, it's one of those unquestioned things in hip hop, yeah. right? Like, who watched who already? Yeah. Oh, Eminem watched all of anyway. Yeah. Like, it's just one of those things that people just has well, always everything. Just, always gonna be that. That's <laughs> I mean, with everything. That's everything Nas said in Ether after every bar, I was like, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, <laughs> shit, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> like, if there's anything about Ether, it was ah, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> Ether, <clears throat> run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. <laughs> Ether was the Ether was the better diss. Yeah. Takeover was the better song. Yeah. Because Hove has that ability to let shit marinate and yeah, like yeah, age yeah. better, you yeah. know? And even in the interview, I was I was I still listen to Ether. Remember, I still do. I too. listen to both. I listen to both records. Listen Those are classic both. moments in hip hop. I'll be working out be like to... fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but um what makes it so uh interesting is uh um that interview, Mev Bleak was like, why would I give... He's try, he's talking asshole. He's like, yeah. sometimes it's better to give somebody something that they can't even really understand yet that they're going to take 10, 15, 20 years to really get rather than the person who can make something really hot, really good, really delicious right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm paraphrasing, clearly. But basically what he's saying is like, at that moment, the things surrounding Eminem of, and, you know, Hov was kind of like on the ropes too. Like he was getting like this by Nas, this by Mob mm -hmm. Deep, this by all these other people. Like it was very easy to get at, get at him at that point, mm -hmm. right? So now you listen to the record now, and even that, the what, what he's talking about, and of course all Hov records like age so much better because of who he became. Right. And then saying like, this is this man's mindset 20 years ago and I'm just catching it now and he's doing this. So of course everything hits different now. But you know, you go back and listen to that verse, it's, he didn't exactly get dog walked on the record. That's, you know what, I'm that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, and I don't. That's why I don't. It was that a weird narrative. narrative yeah, like he I'm just like, phoned he it in or like, some shit. He didn't like, get nah. washed, but like M was just like M was dancing on that yeah, shit, yeah. And, that, and that's what it was. Like, yeah. and that was 20 years ago, and that's what it is now. But yeah, like, you, like I said, two things can be true. That could be your favorite artist, but sometimes, yeah, your artist gets, you know, jabbed a little bit, mm. got to bounce back. Mm -hmm. But that album was still a classic album. Classic One of his album. best albums that dropped I'm only going to side with Lowe here because he would never give Eminem <laughs> that kind of credit. <laughs> well, it's like, yo, but you got to... He's got to give Eminem's credit. Especially against Hove, but, you, yeah, but yeah. he's doing but you it right got, now. Yeah, but you so got siding with you. I, I'm like, I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm a fan of hip-hop. I'm a fan of, you know, what's good and what's not. But yeah, yeah and, you know, Hove is my nigga. And like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I have a PhD in Hoveology. But, masters, not a PhD I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I have a masters in Hoveology. But I know, I know what's that's, what. That's that was good. Though. That's <laughs> that so was funny. I hope, I hope you get, I'm we get, we're get you like an actual like, diploma. <laughs> I'm looking at Law. I'm like, how did we get here? So I'm don't like, what I'm talking about? Me. But I get, I get what you're saying. No, because like, the heart to heart show was dope. Huh? The heart to heart uh, interview. Yeah, with, uh, yeah. But and they, uh, they were talking about yeah. like how to watch how who am I to shut that gift off? Yeah. And that's why I was and I didn't mean to bring really bring Hove into it, but like. These these artists yes, and entertainers. Did. Okay, maybe I did. And these, <laughs> and these athletes. How do you how do you shut that off? Right. Like, what gives you the right to shut it off? It's it's such a two way question. I think you reach a new level of, and I, and I guess we're tying this in with like going out on top and yeah 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 comedy exactly. and yep. creating exactly and being any sort Seinfeld of creative and all this and New yeah. York right and New York and, <laughs> and the Bronx and when the you're Bronx. any when you're any sort of creative and like your the art that you create has made you so much money that eventually like that art is eventually going to have to go back to the place that it was at one, at some point. You know, whatever you do, God, God willing, if you're good enough at it for a long enough time, yeah. it will make you so much money that one day you can just go back and just do it strictly for the art and not because it's profitable. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, how many times have we listened to our favorite musicians, our favorite whatever, comedians, whatever, and they always go back to their roots? Mm -hmm. Like, after they've made it, after they've achieved a certain level of success, like, Kevin Hart could do a million, zillion billion dollar budget movies whatever he's always going to go back and do stand up 
-hmm. because that's his art mm -hmm. and that's not what he's making the most money out of but that's what brought him to the dance and that's what's gonna be the thing that keeps him feeling like young and alive and i think right. when it comes to hove i think when it comes to comedians i think hopefully when it comes to, to these zamero that once they get to that certain point you never really retire from it mm. look at george carlin right like george carlin reinvented himself a zillion times but the george carlin we all remember is the old cantankerous you know white dude that was like you know doing all that stuff but he was doing he was doing all the th 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 mm. like he was all the old 50s yeah. entertainment from back in the day you know and it's 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 a gift to be able to reinvent yourself yeah. and i think that reinvention comes from knowing when to say this has gone as far as it could go yeah i'm gonna do this now you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not necessarily a bad thing, like you said, mm -hmm. when, you know, you've done something together for so long, you kind of want to see what else is out there. You right. kind of want to see what else you can kind of pull off right. on your own and create because, you know, like you can always, it's good to know that you always have this. It's good to know, like, if shit could go bad tomorrow, if Hove, if those every single fucking investment goes belly up tomorrow, he knows. He knows. I can go. I right go into back a to booth. Studio yeah, and right. And give him twelve. Exactly. Put that out tomorrow. Exactly. I got a, a million. Kevin Hart day. could could every movie from Kevin Hart could flop tomorrow. He could be like, I'm gonna go just hit the road and do some store, do some shows and mm. do some stages yeah. and, and get it going. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So you never really retire from that. Like once that art becomes part of who you are, mm. you, you just you do it to make it fulfill you creatively. You don't do it to you know. Profitable. Pay your bills. Right, right. You know what I mean? So, so I mean, with, with all that being said, we, we do hope the the best um, the best for Deuces of Deuces and Mero. Deuces. According to Mero. According to Dominican ass Rosie. Deuces. And whatever their, you know, whatever their situation is, whatever they're going through, obviously it's, it's between them and mm -hmm. it's private, but we do hope that you guys, you know, somehow find your way back yeah. to the art. That wasn't the only disturbance in the Bronx this week. Tell me, the, what's the next one? Like, the world is all about balance. Okay. And when something terrible happens, something good has to happen. Uh-oh. So Jennifer go. Lopez got her six ring. Spun the block. Spun the block. <laughs> From a breakup to a Thanos mm. <laughs> The Thanos snap is alive. Listen, Jello. I I support a good spin the block. Hey. Talk about it. it. Talk to us. Talk Rosie. about I it. Talk to it. us. Rosie. My bet. My fiance. Mother. My kids. You, you spun oh, that block. Spun <laughs> that was a spin the block. Look at you. And look at you now. And look at us now. <laughs> God damn it. That's but, a, see, that's a spin the block right shout there. Shout out to J Lo and Benny. Oh, I love it. Yeah. 20, yeah. 20, 20 years. She said, "Yeah, you know what." Uh, streets ain't shit. Yeah. Well, she wasn't in the streets. Uh, she was yeah, just. Yeah. She was in. She was in, was in, in the streets. <laughs> in the, yeah. you know, no, she was, she was not. She was with someone. She was with a Rod. She I mean, was like not, she, not streets like that. But I she was out there, there doing there. Mm. Like, what makes you go from an, one engagement to like? Eh, let me so go sometimes back. Sometimes you wake up and be like, ah, this ain't where I want to be at. Mm. I think. I think the older <laughs> you get, the less you care about. You know. That's true. What people think about your happiness. Well, I don't think. She's never cared. I don't think she's never cared. She never cared, never cared. cared. <laughs> about what anybody thinks. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, what made her go from like I thought they were gonna get married. I thought they were too. I thought they were a great power couple at one point. Oh, I mean, um, was a J Lo a -Rod. and A Rod. J Lo and A Rod. And speaking of the Bronx, like you know, you got the Queen of the Bronx. You got a, a Yankee great. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dominican. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All that type of stuff. Yeah. Like it, it all. He's Dominican is. We took his Dominican. Country. I was about yeah y'all. Okay, all right, all right. Not, okay, let's not go. No, there. I was about to say like, <laughs> can you speak to that because I was because I was he didn't want to wanna play in in he didn't, didn't want to play on the Dominican, Dominican national team. team. He wanted yeah, to play in the American team. So he's American. Well, he's he claims Dominican when he wants to be. He's of Dominican heritage, so it's like. Why would you not play with your people? I was trying to explain to the old lady why. Uh, we probably won anyway, so it don't matter. Fuck, <laughs> probably. probably. <laughs> I I'm about to say, I know America. Why would you not want to go for the better You're not team? not being a brown country in baseball? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's never happening. Even though uh, the pitch is 29. Like, <laughs> I am 12. <laughs> Throwing 100 to all about. Straight gas. Well, what happened with 
with A Rod, so for a right. while, everybody. So a lot like, of Dominicans shine. were like, they're like eh, what? You don't want to play for Dominican? Don't play A Rod, yeah. But you want to claim you're Dominican? Like, stop saying that shit then. But then he put you back, J Lo, who's not Dominican, but you know, that covers a lot of ground for <laughs> Spanish speaking no, people. Covered nothing for Dominicans. <laughs> Did it? We were no, still like, did. boo. No, really? Well, you're not Dominican, Jay. I don't want to speak. Why Jay put his hands up? Like, I'm going to throw something I know. I didn't know I'm not saying shit. No, go ahead, Jay. I'm just listening. Yankee fans. Like his when he started dating A Rod, he stopped getting booed and she. started getting like when she when she when she oh when well, A Rod yes, started Bronx. dating J Lo you mean yeah for yeah. when his steroid thing like J Lo right clean that's a big thing. thing too when the like, when the steroid thing happened for A Rod people forget like A Rod was suspended for like a whole year yeah. missed a year of his prime right. people didn't forget people didn't care no I think because no nah, Yankee fans cared because yeah. it affected baseball the fans game. are were so tight balled for anyone who did steroids like oh you ruined the sanctity of the game and blah 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 like didn't baseball fans Bond, are so mark mcguire yeah all, all of them they all did but right. they're not in the hall of fame you know uh, what i mean they're not they don't get through any accolades like aaron judge who is killing it right now for the yankees they're saying he's chasing the real home run record which is roger maris's 61 from forever ago mm. because According to baseball, How like enthusiast, right uh, what happened? 30, 33. 33 right now? He's got 33, half of the season left. Uh, he might get that. Yeah. But they're calling that the real home run record because, because the they're, trying to, the... they're trying to put like the whole steroid era of baseball into oh, like. Right. Or they're trying to remove it. Right. Got so, it. like, uh, I think uh, uh, McGuire had 71 year, Barry Bonds had 73. Uh, I think but McGuire so was also on that. They were all, in the, they were all in the gas, all of them, all of them. All of them. But the at the same time, like <laughs> baseball, <laughs> baseball enthusiasts and supporters are a bunch of hypocrites because that was the best thing smoking for baseball. At one point, wasn't nobody paying attention to your sport until everybody was starting to get roided up. Nobody. They came off the strike. They lost a shit ton of fans. Wasn't nobody filling up them stadiums. They saw Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa was like, yo, take a few of these right here in the booty cheeks. Just oh right there. Well, that affected Sosa's um, Jose can thinking, game. clearly. Butts were back in the seats, bro. <laughs> it either made him lighter or just dumber. The, hey, <laughs> man, listen. All I'm saying is A-Rod fell into that, uh, you know, that uh, pot pot of people. Yeah. Once the whole Balco thing blew up and everyone was like, oh, man, everybody's on the gas or whatever. Everybody looked at these great players of the time right. and was like, you're a fraud. In addition to, like, you being a Dominican fraud, you're like a baseball fraud also. Boo! So, fraud. My nigga, fraud you, all around. You just right. You're just a fraud everywhere. <laughs> right, right. So once he came back from suspension, you know what I'm saying, then the J-Lo thing starts happening. Right. And then they, I think they, did they win a World Series after that? No. They didn't win it, but you know, I think he was chasing some record. They, yeah. They're trying to get. They've him only gotten twenty-seven, right? So that was. Yeah, I think he, that's 20... what it was. He, they wanted to get him 12. that six hundredth home run while he was a Yankee, right? And they wanted to rehab his image enough. So you know, when it came there, it was a great Yankee moment, and blah blah blah. And they got J Lo here and the Bronx and yeah. blah blah blah. And so cheese. So on the outside, look at it. <laughs> So I see what you're saying. On the outside, wait, what? He said a chopped cheese. <laughs> Low, have a seat. So I generic. Put, I had to put myself into the Bronx conversation. <laughs> you said it's a Bronx episode. It is a Bronx episode. Yeah. And the Tims and, and the, the chopped cheese. So that's um. So that's why, like the whole J Lo thing. I could see why you would think they were gonna spend the rest of their life together, like because it made sense. Like she was very, she was very pivotal to like helping to rehab A Rod's image, and then he became like you know great uh. A play-by-play -play guy, good personality. What if it was just all a business deal? Probably. Not too, not too far-fetched. Not too far-fetched. Not too far-fetched. Not, far not, not at all. If it was all just a everything's know. wrestling, bro. Stay woke. Yeah. Everything. Everything's a rollout. <laughs> Shout out to my man. Everything's Isaac. a rollout. <laughs> everything's a rollout. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm trying to think, because that never made sense to me. It sure did. But, but, okay, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it how, sure I like did it. Anyway, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. we know. <laughs> you already knew, we know exactly when. Exactly we know exactly when to get back into the lane. Uh, right. But, right. but J Lo and Ben did Spun get married block. this week. Yep. Hit it, did, did it, hit it, and did it Vegas style. You know what mm. I mean? Straight through the chapel. Drive then they had through. the, they had the a ceremony. Chapel. Hangover White chapel. chapel. They had a so. ceremony. I think it was at Ben Affleck's house yeah. or a state in Georgia. It was like a private. That is. Let private me tell you something. If you guys are listening to this, pay attention to how. <laughs> Choose your words wisely, because I'm not ready for what the fuck you're about to say, but I'm I'm ready. Pay go attention ahead. to how white boys are kind of taking over this summer. Oh, no, so we're not doing this. Stay on, look at Jay. That Jay with the fist ball back here, like, yeah. Think about white it. White boys back. Please Kim, explain to me. Kim what, with yeah, Pete. Yeah, okay, it's go. a white boy summer. Kim with Let Pete. me hear your theory. Courtney with... <laughs> 
uh, oh boy, yeah. Megan cool. Fox with Machine Gun Kelly. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. Wow. Restart your list. Kim with Pete. Yeah, Kim and Pete. Okay, okay. okay. Now Jennifer Lopez, Ben Affleck. She been, but she, okay. she been but on she, that but block. But she spun the block. But she been on that block. But she's like 2022. Not a new white boy. It's a white boy. She was. It's still a white boy. She so the all right. So that no, that that doesn't count. Remember it does that. count. That was 20 was, years ago. It doesn't matter. Okay, all right. Continue on. My fault. Um, uh, Kim's sister. Megan Chloe Fox. It's just Parker. like a. It's looking like. Oh, oh. Megan Fox. Tra no, it, yeah, mm. yeah. It's oh, looking kind of like like, like girls are starting to be like, hmm. Let me see what this white thing is about. What is it about? Not the white me. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Not Let's you. be clear. Not me. Not you. I mean, but, you, you also named a lot of just like racially ambiguous women. Like you didn't name. Black women. I mean, we there's, not, there's black, the, hold on, hold on. My, I know my black the, hold on. You didn't say black women. Hold on. I, said, I know, but I didn't my say black that. women aren't. But I she didn't say that. I said it's kind of a white, white boys. boys are you got Jack great. Harlow doing his thing and everybody lusting yeah, over him. Girl, it's a, it's getting strange. Yeah. It's getting strange. It is a little. That's, that's not enough. It, the, the, the quantity is not enough. She's, say, she's not blind. saying it's not about the women specifically. It's no, no, about I'm the saying, white boys. No, 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 no. I know, and I know some people personally who are now dating white men. I'm like, where the fuck did this? No, come I'm from? saying the quantity of. <laughs> is it a Why? getting older thing when it comes to white guys? Maybe it's just easier. No, is it like is it? Maybe they they're, they're out. Maybe they're out the. They're not trying to be fuck boys no more. I don't maybe. know. Yeah. There's some, maybe there's something about like. I don't know. I don't know. Are white men? Are white men seem as less threatening or something? Do they seem safe? What they, is they do seem safe. More marriage material. I feel like once you get older, you're like, okay, I had. I Let had me my, settle down. Oh, what's, what's? Oh my god! Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, I've had my what? No, what there was a no, say? there was a TikTok trend, and there's an actual name for this, but I forgot what it is. I think there was like a little bunch of little white girls on TikTok saying like me and my ghetto phase or my whatever phase. Ah, uh, yeah, like, I didn't like that. You saw that, right? I, saw, I don't like that. When it's like a bunch of white girls, and they were like, and they're like late teens, like early twenties, when they were just specifically just dating black dudes. Well, they and call that to get it out their system. It's like, okay, <laughs> I found my white man. I'm gonna settle down. With nah, it. I ain't like that. <laughs> Miley like Cyrus that. did it. You know what I'm saying? Think of all these. Women, they go kind of listen. And then I've been, I've just been saying, even Adelia like did it. I'm saying the, a girl, a couple girls I know. Cassie too, did it. That I'm not gonna name. Serena Williams. Y'all you know, don't know them. Eve. Eve. I'm trying to tell you. Listen. We done lost listen, a rap queen listen, to a listen. white man. What are you talking about? Listen. What are y'all talking about? How, what do they even listen, talk about? White men just looking at all the rappers like, you enjoy them now, niggers. <laughs> 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 they don't want to come home. Yes. <laughs> yes. They don't want to come home, God damn. What I'm saying <laughs> is, saying, saying, I know personally a lot listen. of women that I can't tell you guys, right? But I'm saying I know a lot of people dating white men. I don't understand it. To all what you mean you don't understand my black Jake, shut up. <laughs> to all my black men out there. I don't understand it. We are valued. <laughs> oh gosh. We are oh, loved. Yeah. <laughs> This is what we're doing. We are smart. This is what we're doing. We are genius. <laughs> we're just making an observation, okay? Nobody's saying Low. we are Low. the prize. <laughs> so for any white man out there that thinks you can come take our sisters, you are wrong. Well, she didn't say I'm she was joking, taking I'm black joking, women. I'm joking. They were just saying white boys are having a decent I, summer. I just, I don't, they were due for a bounce back no, after a I few just, summers I ago. I just don't think the, <laughs> it was really bad for white guys a few summers ago. What, yeah. what oh, summer oh, was poor that? White man. Like, <laughs> what, I mean, what summer was like, that? Jake's <laughs> 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 like, yeah, it was pretty bad. Like two summers. Yo, 2020? It was like, yeah, yeah. Jake said, we back, baby. The on white boys was like Tesla. It was bad, bro. Jake said, we are back. We were rough, like. Y'all were Coinbase for a while, bro. I, I wish like, I could see know. Jake's <laughs> celebration when I said that, though. He's like, yes! All I'm looking at is the... Jake threw a John Stockton fist bump. Not even the Jordan one. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. All I'm looking at is the qua the quantity, not the quality. I'm looking yeah. at the quantity of what the white boy uprising. They were due for a bounce back year, Mo. There's no Chet Hanks this summer. Who? You know what I mean? Chet, Chet Hanks. There's no Chet Hanks this summer. Remember the the. Oh yeah, he got pushed out quick. Yeah, that got, white dude. He yeah. Got pushed out <laughs> he was fine. But he was part of like he was, the, fine. he was part of the fall of the white boy like two the, summers ago. He probably like, was the fall. was popping. Man, Maga you said shit. He was fine. He probably was the fall. He was part of it. Like yo, I'm telling you, the beginning of the pandemic, 2019 to 2021, was a dark time for white boys. Yo, you had Donald Trump running shit. I'm like, I'm like, how, how, racist how, shit everywhere. Like you could you wasn't getting no sad for white men. I'm not we feeling don't. sad. I'm just we making don't. an I observation. Made, I made a comment I'm and not, Cass sees bad. it kind of too. <laughs> He's just acknowledging that he sees it as well. I see that they were due for a bounce back year. 
man, the white man has the white man franchise is too strong <laughs> to be down for so long. Fuck them niggas, bro. <laughs> they got home like field advantage. No, it's you like, know they was coming back. Like they was gonna get them back in blood, bro. Fuck them niggas, bro. Oh, they never bounce back. It's like I, I go out to dinner now with my girls and I see a random white boy. Who's this? Oh, this is Tom. <laughs> <laughs> who, who the fuck is Tom? Tom on Hinge. Fuck Tom, Mark, Keith, Brian, Tom on Hinge. Tom on Hinge. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, you are not allowed to girls' nice. night. It's man, Trump's fault, it. man. Trump had y'all. Fuck tra- Trump, too. Trump had white people <laughs> fucked up for like a couple of years, man. Trump, had, Trump had white folks having a, an abundance of confidence. <laughs> it was bad. Yeah, the an confidence. Abundance. I'm like, bro, you really think like you deserve and you're entitled you know what, you know, that crazy? You know what Trump being president was? Trump being president is equivalent to like Steph Curry like blowing up, right? Like, that's a good shot for Steph Curry. Steph Curry could pull from 40, bro. Trump could pull this shit, right? Every white boy was like, I could do that. Just like every kid pick up a basketball, like, I I can can shoot shoot that 40 footer. Like, no, you can't. All the white boys yeah. saw Trump was like, I could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and, nah, and it just wasn't it just wasn't white men. It was like it was like the entire race was like, yeah. oh, if he's if if the leader of the free world is mm. doing and saying Oh, they were emboldened and moving like that. They're still emboldened. It's <laughs> like the the remnants of that is still there. Mm. Like people just, you know, the Karens and the entitlement. Yeah. But when when Cheeto <laughs> when when Orange Cheeto got into that White House, he about to spin the that's that's about to be the the biggest spin the block. Oh please, I don't want that block. I don't want to that block. Oh, that block. I don't want to be nowhere near that block. I don't want to go there. Be prepared. I do not want to be nowhere near that block. Just let me go no, there. No. Be prepared. We talk about Six spinning years the block. Later, I guess I gotta go there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't talk want to. Talk about J Lo and Ben spinning the block. That's gonna be the to. the block spin. Oh, we're gonna. I hope, I'm I hope to that. Two yeah, years. It's happening. I be but no, yeah, he, he, be ready. <laughs> he he be ready. he like he dropped he dropped so much fuel in the white confidence oh, tank. Yeah. The battery in their backs. The battery in their backs. Ooh. That energizes. So they had to take a few summers off. Yeah. Listen, I'm not <laughs> saying I'm so not much. saying they're winning. I just see like if y'all don't put a stop to this shit, I see the comeback. <laughs> 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 I see. Y'all gotta put a stop to this What's, shit. What do we? Who do we gotta take? Like, do we got, you gotta like, take somebody? We gotta send someone after Margot Robbie. <laughs> 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 like, we gotta get Anthony Edwards or somebody. Nah, nah, like, nah, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> we'll, we'll send her. Uh, <laughs> somebody send Anthony take, Edwards no, to no, Margot no, Robbie's we'll house. Her, we'll send her. Um, <laughs> who is? Who is? Who no, is we'll like send, their little prince? No, we'll send Michael. We'll send Michael B. Jordan. Who's no no Michael B. Jordan? He's he's dealing with enough. We need we need we need a young we need a young no, 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 no. We need somebody with that's young with potential. Michael B. Jordan's one of our vets. He's got he's to hold it down for what he's got to hold it down for. We need somebody. Lakeith. Is it Lakeith? I'm telling you, Anthony, you got to send Anthony. Who's the white sweetheart right what now? Mean, what do you mean the white sweetheart? Who's like the like white, girl, white sweetheart? girl sweetheart? Who's like the... Why do you about white people so much? I don't know. I'm just asking. <laughs> I, I said Marlon Roby. Should we go grab Billy Eilish up? Best one. Billy, Billy Eilish? Billy Eilish? And that for y'all? Maybe we'll love her. like 17? She um, she's not 17. <laughs> she dresses like younger, but she's not like, you know. She's not over 20. Is she? Do a leap so. up there, I guess. She's I guess white. So. Nah. I thought she was like like something else. That's because they're overseas. They're all they're still white. <laughs> <laughs> they're still you know white. what I mean. Down bro. south is the brown countries. They went. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who's. I don't know who's, these white folks. Who's, like who's, the, who's the number one white Jake? Who's the number one white girl in the game right now? Right now. Right, I, right I now. Know, right, right. Like who's you the one? Really, like, you really overall, think he would know? I think like Taylor Swift's up there. Nah, Taylor Swift's had her run. I need like, are you Julia Fox? Nah, <laughs> Ju- Julia Fox had like a good five Jay minutes Kanye? with Ye. Yeah, yeah, she had like a good five minutes. She fell. Yeah, she fell off. She was, <laughs> also, who's who? Was, Kanye was already there, so that's true. Damn, Jake is supposed to know this. Who was the white chick? Mm-hmm. Give me like, give me five. Like, don't give me five. Like, five? Just give me just like, who are like the five white girls that are like, yo? Then I'm, I don't have step to bro. Like he doesn't right know that. Like, like if you ask him the five top players okay. of the New York Knicks, he'll run that shit I, down. I You're asking like something Anderson very foreign. Like old shit. Like you know. Okay. The like older, like I will older. say I will like say, a Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. All right. All right. So <laughs> let's let's go let's go with the classics then. Okay. Scarlett I'll say I say I say Margot Robbie's in there. It's like Megan Fox. Like Megan Fox. Megan Fox. Nah, she's now mentally she's gone. Now we good. Like 2007. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're talking about now. Like, I'll, I'll, you know who I'll throw in there? I'll throw out Brie, uh, Brie Larson, Captain Marvel. It's like Jeter's dating. Oh, Captain, Captain Marvel in there. She's, she's cute. I'm thinking. That's I'm why thinking, I said Scarlet. I'm thinking she's the whitest of the white. I'm talking about blonde hair, blue. Uh, what? <laughs> Natalie Holloway. <laughs> that age, that type of white. Like, 
I don't know. Kelsey Plum? Yeah. Kelsey I Plum's call, right. Kelsey yeah. Plum is climbing the ranks. From the WNBA, Las, Las Vegas. Nobody cares Aces. about Miley no more. Okay. Miley? Jennifer Miley Lawrence. Cyrus. Jennifer Lawrence is up there. Miley anyway, Cyrus. I say all that to say. Oh, y'all think some whack ass white bitches right now. <laughs> it doesn't matter if they're whack. Okay. Does America doesn't love matter. her? Jessica all Beale? I'm saying is. Jessica Biel? Yeah, name is the ah, old like white girl. I'm talking about. Anyway, the point right I'm trying now. to say is <laughs> we need to send Anthony Edwards after one of them. It's not a, it's not a white girl summer. It's not a white girl summer. We need to send let one me, of our hold most. On, let me get my. I'm, I'm not, He's just trying to put a stop to to the I'm white takeover. Bring out my white girl. We need to put. We need to send the white boy takeover. Let me bring out my white. Nah, you know who was close. You know who was close. Um, 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 Bill Gates's daughter or granddaughter. Oh, Melissa. Dating some dude. Melissa. Dating some some black dude. You know who? And I was like, mm, we needed that. <laughs> we needed that. You know, you, Let's stop playing good. before one of the you Obama know, girls dated a white Jennifer. boy. It's all right. Look, no, you know, yo, you know who I'm after? Who? You know who I'm going for? Who? Meryl Streep. Meryl <laughs> coming for you. <laughs> I'm a Low. I'm coming for you. Meryl, Meryl Streep will send you to bed. Huh? Meryl, Meryl Street probably looked like she got the. Oh, <laughs> 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 guys, she's ninety. Meryl exactly. <laughs> she, got exactly. She, she is baking you that cookies that that and sending you to sleep, pop, bro. I'm fine with that. <laughs> she is making you fix oh, her shower I'm head. Fine with that, Meryl. And baking come, you some cookies, baby. Yeah. Come on, let's Meryl go. Meryl Street shot porn in the seventies. Like, oh, what yeah. is wrong with you guys? Oh, that's what you said. That's like me oh, going after know. Larry David. But I get, I would get, I get, that. I get it. Like Why if you, you like if, if, if Larry David, no. if I saw you walking, this, if I saw you walking to a club with Larry I'm David, I'd be like, I get that. Why you get that? You know what? I'm not mad at that. You have similar senses of humor and shit. Like she's, he's very New York. Your humor is so dark and. If you have to go old white man, like if you like if Larry David came in here, it's like, hey, I just uh. Well, first of all, he talked so much shit. He probably talked a lot of shit about everything, and then that's like, all right, let's go. Like if Larry David walked in, he's like, oh, so. Uh, this is where you shoot. This is your, uh, <laughs> this is your studio. Oh, it's pretty small. Larry, not today. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Sick of this shit. So I don't take the, you anywhere. Yeah. Did you water the plants? Uh, look a little dry. <laughs> Yo, we need that, that. That Larry David. That'd Rosie be hilarious. Oh my god. That'd be hilarious. Oh man. I go yes, on a Mer date with Larry yes, David. Meryl Streep, I'm coming. All I was saying is. Boss. To offset the, the 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 renaissance of the white boy that's been happening in the summer, we need to send one of our young our young talents over there. That's why I said, um, I, yo, we can't have Keith, them. Yo, right? we can't have them Keith, cross Keith, enemy Keith lines. Stanfield? Bitches love him. Really? Yes. We can't, I, yo, we, yo, I don't we, know. After he was moaning in Clubhouse, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not I'm I think not. a lot of women were like, Ugh. oh, I never heard the, the the Clubhouse. Thing, I also so. thought I didn't. Was but, he? Is like he's like. I don't know, but we're not no? there. I don't think so. Uh, okay. Wait, what? I don't know. Is he gay? I mean, no, he's he's. he's I know. He strikes me as somebody. I don't know if he's gay or not, but he definitely strikes me as somebody who like. It's a little metro. That's about what? It. Just say it. <laughs> he's a Hollywood bro. Like, it would it like if like if it came out that like he dated the dude before? I'm like, nah, I can see that. He's flamboyant. <laughs> <laughs> like when like when the Tyler stuff came out and like Gerard Carmichael, I was like, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I, you, you know the crazy thing is like when he announced that during that special, I. Uh -huh. I I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see it. I I could have. I could have. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see that with Tyler the Creator. He is very. He's. Uh, I, I, just no, I saw that with Tyler. I just thought he was. You know. I, and again, there's paradox. nothing wrong. Not wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. But I didn't see it with. with, with People just Carmen. look at it differently now. It's yeah. not even like oh, I'm just a, that's especially rich, you black, you in Hollywood. Like yeah. it's they, they be at them parties. <laughs> and what part, Hashtag them parties. And you know? what parties do you speak of? I don't know, but not the ones. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> well, no. Speaking Invite of, only. Yo, know, and speaking of parties, we you almost were, got. Uh, you got about 18 minutes left. About 15 minutes. We got a battle to do. So let's get. Let's let's, let's a wrap battle? up. Battle. Yeah, we got a battle to do. What battle? What battle? You know, we got. I told you it's a Bronx episode. All right. So who's so battling? We're doing the battle of the Bronx. Everybody picks their favorite Bronx record. And who wins? <laughs> y'all didn't see me in the group chat. I think he told himself. Uh, that, I told <laughs> y'all in the group chat. He put it in his notes. <laughs> he put it in his well, notes. I mean, Are you dead I, ass? I already got it. Like I mean, now you're telling me. I already because I'm not good. I have it in my head. Oh, <laughs> oh really? <laughs> oh really? <laughs> well then, <laughs> you wouldn't mind. I'm like that. You wouldn't like mind. That. I'm built like that. You wouldn't mind. I'm just saying. You never told us. This what is the first want? time we're hearing about it. You know what, Lo? Oh. Come on. <laughs> 
Uh, Kaz, challenge I'm gonna side with you on this. <laughs> one challenge accepted. You needed you needed help last time, so. Really, Ooh. I appreciate you. Everybody, you didn't play no and, bullshit, and you, bro. Nah, you so. played that bullshit. I went through like, it again. You didn't even play no bullshit. She got see. You ain't play no bullshit. You ain't play. I didn't know China. it was a five Jesus song pick. I when didn't you know it was yo, that. listen, it's a battle. You have to go to the heat rock. But I don't want to hear the B sides. I don't yeah, want to hear yeah. none of that. Doesn't shit. matter. If I you want to get... talk about the Chris Brown Usher battle, go watch the Chris Brown Usher episode. We're gonna talk about today's you episode. All right. I did bomb that. I'm gonna hold you. Thank right. you. I'm about right. time for some redemption, motherfucker. All right, redemption now. Redemption, redemption time. period. Rosie, are you gonna Jake, judge? Give me your phone. Since you don't. I mean, I need my phone. Okay, all right, Rosie, are you going to judge on this one? Wolf is in the house, Jake's in the house. Like I said, it was a disturbance in the Bronx this week, and I hate what Wait, happened but with these DeMero. I love what happened with J-Lo and Ben. Mm -hmm. I love what's happening with my New York Yankees. Yes. We didn't even get to talk about my Yankees, but shout out to the also, Yankees. Also, wait, we didn't get the, to the talk Knicks about got a, a couple trades. Shout out to my man, uh... Jalen Brunson, yep. brand new point guard for the there New York go. Knicks. Got, got to make sure can't the Knicks wait get, the, get the, Donovan you know. Mitchell. Hey, man. Making hey, those all-season we'll, moves. We'll, we'll, speak, we'll speak on Spider when it's time to speak on Spider. Wait, we didn't right speak about now. one more thing from we'll, the Bronx. What happened? Have you watched the Jeter documentary? I did watch I the haven't Jeter watched it yet. I haven't watched it, but I'm excited. Ooh, yo. I saw the preview. Well, I was like, episode two was last night, right? Episode two was last night. What's it called? They got up to the 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 second chip in 1998. Man, what was my biggest takeaway from that? And the one takeaway I've been wanting to know about that whole episode was like, what was the nightlife like? What was G that like um, in the street? Just I mean, he, he gave bitches. They, he he, just are you magic. serious? Oh, yeah. No, no, I'm saying, no, exactly. We all know about the gift yeah. bag. Even better. You know what? He wants to, he just, I, wanted you know to what? Hear, I wanted to hear from but his you, point of view. Can't, he can't incriminate himself but like he, that. He was, he was talking a little bit. He but was listen, little, no was giving, phones, baby. He was like, he was, he was, he was just bro, like, was living. I will not forget. Like a man, I was, a man that, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, like, I would say, like, maybe, like, what year are we in? Mm. 2022. 2022. I would say, mate, damn, was it like 10 years ago? I would say, like, 10 something years ago. What, maybe something less than that. But one of my friends was a GM of Ainsworth, right? Mm -hmm. This is like an upscale sporting bar, kind of like yep. bounce. Bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember he was like, he was all fran like frantic and panic. And I'm like, what happened? He's like, I got to clear out the whole top floor. I was like, why? He was like, Jeter's coming. And I was like, <laughs> okay. He was like, he doesn't, he just doesn't want anyone with phones. That's around. how they are when I come yeah. like, here. And he came and, and Jeter brought his whole party Let me tell you and something. filled up the top floor. I was like, how'd you even fit these people with you? Listen, yeah. man. When I tell people, it's like, I'm gonna go upstairs. I'll pretend to be the waitress. You Come understand? On. Do you understand why the city of New York, despite the Knicks not being great, despite the 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 the, the, the media scrutiny and all the fandom and all that type of stuff, mm -hmm. you realize why people still keep coming to the city? Mm -hmm. It's because of that. Because mm -hmm. if you win here, if you that do, you could be that dude anywhere. But if you that dude here, mm -hmm. bruh. There, it's there, a different there, level. There are things probably like we can't even Im imagine yeah. that, you know, the guys mm. of, of this city. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The guys of the Giants, the guys of the Rangers. I could tell y'all. The guy. <laughs> we know. Really. Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to know. The guys of the Knicks. He's like, well, who are you want to know? <laughs> about? Just, like, just, just, just not that type of show it. today, Rose. Just, just drop a name. Name that shit for lip service. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. I don't name drop. It's just like. Like you said, New York City, we embody the just the the boisterous, the the the, the arrogance, the just the, the flashiness, and I can't imagine what Jeter so in the, or in the show A Rod what they were doing. So in the show, he he talks about uh, you know, and we'll, we'll wrap this soon. Uh, he talks about uh, his barbers talking about it. He's talking about like meeting Puff really young at the same time. This, you gotta understand shit, Puff too. You gotta understand exactly. So they, they talk about like, like how they I, came up together I'll, basically. I'll, 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 <laughs> it's talking about Puff uh, coming up at the same time as Jeter. You gotta understand, this is 1996. Like this is right after Puff you know, is fresh. This is this is like can't no, nobody hold me down yeah. era. Like yeah, he's Puff still is shiny suit, fire. dude. Yeah, yeah. Derek Jeter is the rookie of the year and just won a World Series in his first year in 1996 for the most storied franchise in sports. Mm -hmm. He literally said, "If." Social media was around while I was winning. My career would have been three years max. <laughs> really? Max. <laughs> Just That's because how of how he was. He was. At, he, he made no bones about it. It's like, yo, I was no, out no. here, bro. Like, I will say. I will say this though. 
I feel like if social media was around when he was that young, he would have moved differently. Oh yeah, because that was the, that was the luxury of like Jordan and Jeter era. I was like, about to say like they had, they had no, no evidence. Bro, nothing. me and my man was just talking about this the other day. It's like the shit that Jordan was probably doing. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, yeah, he would like the totally. shit he was. Doing. Oh my and, god, and, and everything pretty much came out during you know during the last dance about the gambling, the tequila, mm. the drugs, this that, and the third. But if we saw what this nigga really was doing. Mm. Bro, so mm. I can I can only imagine what what Jeter was doing in this city, living in this city. Is no one paying attention to me? I'm I'm listening <laughs> to you. I'm I'm, I'm getting my I'm well, getting my getting his list I'm getting my list so, together, right, bro. Right, but I'm on. hearing you. I'm hearing okay. you. Okay. <laughs> no, Am I judging like, this? Literally, shit? no one. <laughs> no one. The, the listeners. This is why we're trying to be serious, and then now I can't be serious because no one's looking at me. Well, though, I so actually I actually, actually watched the, the Jeter documentary. And anytime I try to talk about it, he cut me off. God damn it. So here he goes with this. I'm <laughs> no, I'm just fuck with you. No, finish. No, I'm, I'm just, no, I'm just saying, like, you, you can't imagine what was going on around that time. Like you said, first World Series, rookie of the year. Mm. Bro, we only heard a quarter of what he So was he doing. speaks about it in the in the in the in the inter, in the show mm -hmm. where he's basically saying, like, yo, one of the one of the one nights he wasn't out, because he was in puff section all the time, all the second all the time, yeah. was Club New York. With J Lo, mm. with Shine, the sh or whatever, shooting. and and they talk about that in the episode. Yeah. He's basically like, "Yo, he's like, he was supposed I'm. to be there, or he just didn't so go." So his his he barber, out, probably, his barber right? slash best friend was basically like a, a quote they keep saying was, "He had the whole apple to himself, but he would only take bites. He would only take bites. He could have oh, ate God. the whole apple whenever he wanted, and if he did, he probably would have swallowed him whole. He would have, yeah, 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 you know. Yeah, I remember he had Daryl Strawberry on his team. Daryl Strawberry was Jeter before Jeter, bro. Like right. he was like the young star, and then yeah. the motherfucker was on crack." Dude, he like was literally? on actual literal crack, bro. Like he was on drugs, bro, and it was out of the league. No, it's not. It's real shit. Like but it's I'm, I'm the seeing way that. You said it, bro. Because the, uh, you're watching the, the documentary. The is not funny. It's just how you phrase. It. Because you watch the documentary and you're just like, damn. Like how can somebody so young, good looking dude, has the world is how did he hold it all together? Like not only he had good parents, all this other stuff, but like his OG was Daryl Strawberry on his team, basically saying like, yo, don't do the shit that I did, bro. I was you. Well, like, you can see a picture of him in the, in the 90s. I mean, that's he what the OGs are supposed to do. He was on the Mets. It was a picture of him, Doc Gooden, and Mike Tyson. That is like a classic photo of what who ran the city at that time. All right, I have one question. One question before we get into this battle. Uh, if there's one OG back in those days, no cameras, nothing that you could have had a night out with, who would it be? One. That's a great fucking question. Just one. Yo, honestly. One OG. One OG. No cameras, nothing. I'm talking nope. about like 96 and their prime. Whenever it was their prime. And just do whatever. Whatever they want to do. Be they're part of their entourage. I'm just right there with their them. right hand man. Okay. Yeah, like, yo, come on. Lo, I'm gonna pick you up right now. We out. Be downstairs in 10 minutes. Uh, OG. Kaz, I'm picking you up. Let's go. Uh, I would say probably like I don't want to like from what any any city or just any well, anybody anybody any, I don't just want back like, before cameras yeah, and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. I don't know, man. That's a hell of a question to ask because it's like what 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 life did I want to live? Like what I want to so be? You talking about like ninety? What I want to be that dude in the eighties? No what I want to be that dude in the pagers. disco era? Straight, not, not even pagers. That's a fucking great question. Probably y'all want to think y'all want to think about it. Probably get back Puff. To like a, I, nah, not Puff. Shit. You might, nah, have I mean, some, probably, you might have been in some shit. You can't, you can't, you can't yeah, I was about to say, probably. Uh, you can't go wrong with Jeter, honestly. Like, he's, all the people that came up around him and under him was... was Do you want to have a wild night, Dennis Rodman? Dennis Rodman, Rick James, maybe. Ooh. You know what I mean? I might be one. Okay. Well, he, okay. well, okay. You know what made me want to want to go out with Rick James? Oh, I got one. Oh, fuck. Was the Chappelle show. Um, he was like, yeah. I ain't do it. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a hell of a drug. Like, he just didn't care. I'm I like, would probably... Oh, Eddie Murphy. Mm. Eddie Murphy. Kicking with Eddie Murphy in the 80s and 90s well, is nah, probably... Well, nah, because you... You know what? Bizarre. I got one. Uh. Jamie Foxx. Okay. That's solid. Okay, we're going to Jamie Foxx. Eddie I'll Murphy was bigger than a comedian at one point. That dude was... Jamie Foxx. Beverly, Beverly Hill Cops, Eddie. Beverly yeah. Hills Cop. Are, are you kidding me? <laughs> but no, 20 something no. years, 22 years old. That's the number one movie in the country. You the star on oh, Saturday Night that Live. Nigga, yeah, that nigga was you put out a song with Rick James. Like, you are the... Yes. But, no, but Richard Murphy, Pryor? No, Richard? Nah, Richard, he was he partied too yeah, hard. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, I wouldn't party that hard. <laughs> but, but, but Jamie Foxx, the way he described like you know his past and, and like the parties he used to do and the people he used to be around, like I think he was one of them ones. Yeah, you know, like we talking about, you know, Eddie. We talking about Chappelle. We talking about all, like Jamie on the low was like not even on the low. You know what the problem with both of your picks are? What? Y'all would have both had white wives right now. 
mm, probably. <laughs> <laughs> probably. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Yo, we both nah. right now be like, well, no, nah, Eddie, nah, Eddie had a white wife. Eddie, Eddie had a white wife at one point. Him. Eddie has some, has some black children. Oh, got some black children. <laughs> yeah, what's her face? Right. Uh, nah, my, Cole yeah. Murphy. My mom always says she Cole can't. Cole Murphy, find us out. My mom always says she can't use your comb, don't bring her home. Oh, wow. that's a good one, actually. That's a good phrase. All right, All right but let's Ben, let's moving. get to it, man. Low. How many y'all going to play each? Uh, we don't got that much time. Like, issue this, you know, phantom it's battle. Prompting. You know what time it is? First of all, we do battles every episode. You're right. We didn't know what we were doing. All right, but let's, how are we going to keep it short? We're going to do it for five, seconds. Thir five, 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 30 seconds, yeah. 30 seconds, probably Straight. less than that, 15 seconds. As long as you know what Straight the song Straight is, we can react to it. Cool, cool, cool. 15 seconds max. Bronx Records. Ready? Disturbance in the Bronx. We're going to bring some good vibes to the Bronx. Good chi to the Bronx, all right? It's funny how Everyone's going to be all right. Let's do I'm, this. I'm the official uptown judge, not the Bronx. Yeah. You are the uptown judge, Rosie. Kaz, I got you first. Low, let's wait, go. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. Mm. Come on. Come on, Low. Come on, Low. I ain't in Miami. I don't got no house in Colorado. Technically, you know what I'm saying? Record. This is Kaz. This is I'm outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the guns. Let's go. Technically. Yeah, that's yes. They got out from New York. Yes, this is the Bronx record. This is the Bronx this record. Is, no, it's not. This is the Bronx record, low. How is it? Crack, crack, crack. Yes. <laughs> Yes, nigga, I'm from New York. All right, that's it, that's it, that's it. Go low, go low, go. Wait, 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 wait. I got wait, two records wait, in mind, wait, and neither y'all play, y'all both lose. What we got, what we got, what we got. Hold on, hold on. What we got. All right, okay, I got you. Okay. All right, let's go. Okay. So I'm Bronx, right? Bronx That time. was Queens, actually. But. Bronx time. <laughs> You know okay. that was one of the songs okay. that I was just talking about. Okay. Catch me in it. Cherry Red 150. You want to see like in the city? Hey, 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 hey. Be like Puss. Hey, Puss. Hey, Gus. Hey, I like it. Right. No prep. Round one. No prep. Round one. I didn't prep. Round one. I didn't prep until these five seconds. We can tell. No. Wow. <laughs> Let them vote. Round one. Who got low. Round one? The uptown uh, representative said low. Go. Go ahead. <laughs> you better have the other song I'm thinking about. Come on, low. Come on, low. Come on, low. Come on, low. Talk to me. Talk to me. Toma. 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 He's sitting here like it's a real I battle. Like, I'm like, damn, no love, love. Y'all not Jeezy wow. and Gucci? Come, wow. come on. Wow. <laughs> you are opposite sides of the table. All right, all right. What, what you got, I'll though? Fall low. You got it. You got it. Can I, can I go? Go ahead, bro. Bronx, right? Yes. Uptown? Uptown. Yes. I know what you... If you go with that... One, two. One, two, one, two. Please be Peter Guns. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Is this what I'm thinking? And Peter Guns. Ooh, Peter Guns like Tyreek? That's not what Get that your is. ass up off your seat. No, it's <laughs> the wall, son. That no. is a good Wow. wow. No. Really? Really? Okay. Okay. That's a classic. No. Listen. You're That's great. a classic. Yeah, yeah, you know what's I'm funny? On. He played the I'm first two phone. songs that I, I know, said. I if y'all don't play two songs. I'm on your phone, bro. Okay, Lord Tariq, Peter Guns. But what the fuck, bro? It's rap shit, pot never would be going on. So tell me where you from. Who won? It's down, baby. You won I'm both? the crown, baby. You won both? Over 100%? Over 100%? Uptown, really? baby? You know, that's a classic, right? Wow. First off, 100% is like Groundhog's Day in Uptown. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's Puerto not Rican summer in Toronto. Puerto Rican the case, buddy. Wow. All right, what do y'all go? Hold on, hold on. Who you got, let's go. Who y'all got? Who you got? Low. Really? Dang. Okay. Yeah. Boom, let's go. Good. Come on, low. Oh. Come on, low. Come on, low. Come on, low. Not the Puerto Rican <laughs> hey. princess, queen. Hey. Hey, hey, Mr. Right, I'm Mr. Right now. Come on, Low. Fuck with me, Low. Fire. Come on, don't sit the street. Give me some energy, Low. <laughs> give me some energy. You don't talk to me. Dem I'm trying to win, you're too, wow. you're, too, you're too up. You're too up. Huh? You're too up. Nigga, I'm trying to win. Wow. All right, go. Pick. You got to go, though. Damn, Low. No love. No love. Wow. Okay. Can I play my shit? Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Of course. Of course. It's almost too easy. I don't think you you don't get the same reaction from the last record. I don't need it. You don't get the same reaction. Hold on, oh, but I think I got one. My nigga, 
I think I got one. The I think I got you, one. The fact that you I think I got one. Did I get one? Go to Rosie first. Did I get one? I'm going to go J-Lo. Hey, go, go with the queen of the Bronx. I'm going to go yeah. J-Lo. Yeah, right. yeah. Right, cool. I, I was going to. Where we at, finally Lo? got one. All right, I'm go. <laughs> about to get two, though. I'm about to get two, though. I was going to go with you. I wanted to let them. Please play what I think you're going to play. I'm about to go two, though. What you got? Come on, Lo. Come on, Lo. Come on, Lo. This is it. What? Come on, Lo. Let's get it. Where we at? Where we at? Where yeah, we at? Huh. Hey, this, this is it. What? Gucci deep. This is the sky. Let's, Let's get rich, huh? <laughs> this is gonna be tough. <laughs> this is Whoa, gonna be low. tough. Low okay, low low low. Shit. He about to be tough. He's like, yeah, uh, it's gonna be so tough. Uh, uh. Yes. Yeah, that's, 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 that yeah, yeah, that's a tough one. one. That's a yeah. tough one. Tough one. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one, low. Throw away. Mmm, twins. Ready for war, Joe? How you wanna roll these stops? I knew it was Kevin. Hey. I know hey. some dirty cops out of the hey. hey. Come on. Come on, Lowski. Why he's left with spaghetti? Low key. Everybody hit the fucking Come door. On, low key. Come on, Lowski. Dead in the middle? Yeah, yeah. The little, it'll, little, did we know that we riddled right, to man. metal men who didn't right. do diddly? Come on, I'm here, bro. Come on. Nah, no, no, no. I'm here, bro. No, no, I'm here, bro. No, no, no. I'm here, bro. No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. We gotta vote. We gotta vote. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 Twins, right? Uh, but I love that song too, uh, and I think right? I think let's I, I think let's leave that in the back. Right. So let's, it's, 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 it's two one, it's two one, two one. And I'll play Bodak Yellow. I play Bodak Yellow. So go. I didn't hear it. Go. Nah, go ahead. Bodak Yellow big. Bodak Yellow big. I didn't hear what he played. Bodak. Huh? You play Bodak Yellow. I play Bodak Yellow, yes, yes, nah, yes. Nah, jumped it. Nah, that wasn't, I wasn't. Bro, you jumped it. What do you mean? Know? Because he thought he won the round. What do you mean? But it's okay. We nah, put that on the back It's all good. We both, right. we both won. All right, fine, fine, fine. He was trying to take the win with that. Go ahead. But bro. I mean, if Lo wins the that, next uh, one, it's done. Hey, Lo, I got a question for you, bro. What's up, man? Uh, What's something you've always wanted to try? I always wanted the bungee jump. Nice. All right. Well, Gold Peak Real Brewed is here to unleash your thirst for trying. So take this as your sign to say yes, opt in, and go for it. Because trying is what life is all about. Try Gold Peak. Go all on, right, Lo. Right. Now he's going for the time. Okay. okay. Conceded. Okay. Against okay. Bodak? Against Bodak Yellow? Yeah, he jumped nah. That's an L. 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 Against Lil' bitch. Can't fuck oh, with me wow. if he wanted to. Go wow. ahead, man. He wow. cheated. Nah. Go ahead, bro. You know what, Lo? You hate that's, to that's see it. Have. Don't that's he jumped the gun, bro. That's, that's not Castle. even fair. That's Castle. It's 2-2 and 1-in-the-tuck. Let's, 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 let's go. Last round. Let's see. Last round. Let's see. Let's see where we at. Make it make it special, guys. I'm still waiting on one. Now I'm throwing off. cheated. Are you? Ah oh, man, okay, you know what? Okay, 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 yeah, I'm still looking, still looking. Go ahead, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Oh, boom. Oh, 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 oh. okay, okay, okay. You don't know where this is coming from. Ooh! That's Drag out from the Bronx, yes. That's Swiss. Drag out from the Bronx, and so is Swiss. That's Swiss. And so is Swiss, yes. Come on, come on. Come on, Lowe. Play more. Hold on. All right. What's up? Swiss, Swiss, Swiss beats. beats. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> right. Hey, you still not going to be no lie. Because that means I'm empty. Really like not with full of it. Wow. Wow. Okay. You should never ride this because I'm going to shoot. Let's come up on a word. All right. Stand up with Drag. Got to ease up. Bet. We doing that? Yes. Come on. I love that song. Great record. That's it, guys. Okay, go Sweet ahead. Hell, you I got kick that. street tails. You got like that. I'm trying to back me to a corner, my nigga. In the part of, Let's blow go. you away Pull like it's part of the plan. I got to call it like I see it. Walking like I be it. Talking my talk. Thugged out with the Pete. All right, let's go.
Mm, Three, damn. two. That's a big a one. A, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of good music at the Bronx, boy. Ooh, 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 boy. But that Swiss one, let me tell you something. People don't, people don't give that, one, yeah, that, that record a lot of credit. Of course. Enough credit. Of course. That shit was dangerous. I love that record. That was dangerous. Ooh, man. But I you're, don't know. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go next. He knows that's one of my favorite songs. I know. I've been on that. Yeah, you I don't know. know your audience a little. Yeah. Definitely. I don't know my audience. But also, come on, band from TV? <sighs> okay, okay. <laughs> I, I already got one right now. I got one right now. That was now. crazy. Right, look. Let's see. Okay, and and she's going to love this one, too. Watch. Because yeah, on, he come knows on, I like fold. that old school shit. Don't fold. Come on, guys. I bet, you the, I bet you people listening are surprised that this is the kind of music I actually like. Okay. If they know if they know this show, right, they know the type of shit you like. Come on, give me some. Come on. Come on, Lo. Mm, it, it must be the ass. They got me like that. no low. You're really giving me no energy, Yo, bro. Wow. wow. Because you wow. you tried to fucking cheat. I can wow. go two directions. It's the J to right? the L-O. Hello. Hello. I can go two directions. Hello. What do you, what do you have? I'm a, I'm a, off the wall like the MJ in his you, early You're going to match his energy? It's the Ike Lopez. Three, two, three, two. You're going to match his energy or you going to? I can match his energy. Mm-hmm. Or I could just go straight to the go. Go for the go for the win. Go, go for, for where win. you think we gonna vibe. Go for the win, bro. Look at the people in this room. Hey good. man, I'm here. I'm here, bro. <laughs> I came for a win today, bro. I'm not trying to get eight up again. I'm surprised nobody played. I'll say that. <laughs> Put the fuck your mic on. Ah, I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what was the other one? I'm surprised nobody played. I'm real. I was gonna go there. I was gonna go there. Vote up. It should be about. Vote up. We had three two. Vote up. Oh, you talking about like the real oh versus? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Vote up. It I got a, I got another one in the top. Oh, let, let, let them vote up. Let them vote up first. Mm-hmm. 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 What you got? It's gonna take your head off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, you don't. Go I'm gonna go with Kaz. Okay. Ooh. What you got? I'm gonna go with Low. What you got? Mm-hmm. You're a tiebreaker right there, buddy. Mm-hmm. Got to do. Come on, Wolf. He always goes with low, though, so I don't know why we ask uh, Wolf anything. He does. <laughs> Can you shut up? It is hard. Come on. All right, but Come on, Wolf. You, going with, you going with your wifey or your, or your mistress? Yo, my uh, <laughs> yo, dead ass. <laughs> you, you going? <laughs> Let's go. Tied up. Tied up. Tied up. up. And I know you and I got with your wife or your son. And I got piece. something that's gonna take your you head off. You going with the Brussels sprouts or the steak? I got something that's gonna take your head off too. Yo, bro. niggas is conspiring against it's me cons- today. Oh, like, now oh it's conspiring. God. Even though he was giving me no right, love right, on the record. All right, four, four. Go ahead. Kaz, four, four. I, I, I should have done this battle. Four, four. I yeah, well, I mean, like we're going to five. So okay, four, four. okay. I should have done this all battle, right. man. But I respect what y'all doing. Let's do it. It's three, three. It's three, three. Come on, low. Don't act like this wasn't oh, a big song. Low. Don't act like this wasn't big for you, Low. Don't act like this didn't tear some stages, Low. Come on, son. Come on. Hey. Who's that, Fur? Hey. They're from Harlem. Hey. They're from Harlem. Short nigga from my dick, Low. Oh, First off, Ferg is from the Bronx. Oh, he is. Ferg is from the Bronx. Rocky from, from Harlem. Harlem. Technically. Yo, y'all See, niggas are moving. That's because you don't know where niggas is from. Look, wow. Uh, you know which route you gotta go. You're not thinking about Bronx. it. You 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 played a song already. Okay, okay. Let let's see where you're going with this. Ready to be my no, dude. <laughs> Johnny fucking please. <laughs> <laughs> my strike done. Like okay. 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 Hold on. Let it drop. I'm waiting for it. My stripes show like regiments, military intelligence. Murder case, I leave no evidence credentials. Even talk to my old principal. He tell you how I used to pack a number two pencil. I'm fucking with Shaba Ranks, bro. It's not he fucking with Shaba, play. though. But nah, Shaba's fire. It's not fucking Shaba, with Shaba. Nah. Shabba's fire, so, but that's fire. like, but that kind of shit is is cheating because that's like I my, because my, you, you know that's my core. Not, you I'm know playing. I love that kind of shit. Hip hop Bronx. Shit, I was right? waiting for fucking Johnny Blaze too. Low because it's gonna come down on Wolf again. God. Shabba ranks. ranks is fire, but it's not Bronx enough for me, so I'm gonna go. Hmm. I'm gonna go low. Hmm. Oh, all right. wow. So the last was a tiebreaker. Playoff. 
Playoff. There's a there's an artist y'all forgetting because he only had like one big ass hit, but I'm trying to think. He's related to somebody y'all already played. I'm trying to think. He's a kid. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening to this and not watching this, me and Kaz are going through a Bronx top five <laughs> records yeah. versus battle. Yeah. We are now tied. We're locked in. This is the tiebreaker. We've been playing hip hop history, mm -hmm. hip hop current joints, mm -hmm. and now this is all for the gusto. Kaz is gonna go first. I'm gonna go second, and we're gonna let the room <laughs> choose who is uh, the versus the, king. So I got <laughs> currently. I am the versus king. Don't, don't stick that up. Me. Don't They're stick that up. Against me. Don't stick that Kaz up. Kaz announced the battle just today, and I had to do all this. Right, all right, all right. So hold on, hold on. Let's let's switch it up right now, right? What? No, no. He's no, let's going switch it up. No, no, no. I, I was gonna go a different no, way. He's going first. I was gonna go. I was gonna okay. go new. Yeah. I was gonna go. I was gonna go current. I was gonna go current. I mean, listen, I mean, I, I, I'm current. still trying to figure this shit out right now. We can go current, yeah. but I don't know. See, yeah, so here's the first. thing: don't playing lose current, don't lose playing current room. records are tough. Don't lose because the room. he's gonna hit a he's gonna hit a classic and then you're fucked. Exactly. Right. It's, hard to, against, it's so, hard to go against. It's hard to go against a classic. It's don't a risk. No. It's a risky move. Go to don't, something that we room. go somewhere that we forgot about. Cause fuck, Johnny, you low is in my playlist. He stole that sh everything uh, from me. Oh man. You're welcome, low. I'm really. I'm I'm really at a, at a, at a You're loss. You're welcome, right Like I don't know what do I do. These are the records that I make low play as Aaron. Yeah, that's true. What? This is very. This is my this is my playlist. <laughs> what do I do? Okay, fuck it. I'm what go, do I do? I'm gonna go for it. Fuck what it. do go I new. do? I'm gonna go new. If I lose off a new record, fuck what it. What do I do? I see. She came with her. Hey. She's on. That's Curran Bronx, low. She went to the friends. That's a good one. Oh. Come on, Lo. It's a great one. And I forget it. Oh, see. Hey, feel like she's asleep. asleep. The whole week, I'm, I'm like, like, oh, oh nah, no, you gotta, gotta go. go. <laughs> I don't even fucking know. My fault. You got it, bro. No, that was go ahead. Go for a classic. All right, this is go the ahead. tiebreaker, guys. Go, ahead, go for the old heads. Oh. You already know. Oh, hey, oh God. Hey. Of course. Oh, don't want to be I don't want to be a playing mom. Kind of brought the vibe down a bit. Not going to hold you. <laughs> kind of brought the vibe down a bit. All right, so so I'm going to... I'm not going to hold you. I feel good about Gallus no, right now, bro. I'm going to speak I'm gonna speak my piece. I'm not going to no, vote I yet. I feel good about Gallus. But this is the problem, right, yeah. when it comes to a versus. And first of all, we got to tighten the fuck up if we're planning on, on going against another team. <laughs> Okay. In the verses, well, first right? Off, he just told us today about no, this hold shit. Hold on, but that's who cares? That's, point. that's not the point. You're not listening. <laughs> we gotta tighten the fuck up and work as a team because the way you do it and the way he does it is completely different. Your song selection, eh, questionable. <laughs> but if the category at hand, if the category at hand is the Bronx, you gotta play songs, not only classics, but you gotta play shit that people know the Our Bronx, Bronx for. records. I didn't even know Gallus was the Bronx record. But it's a huge song, and if you're playing it, it now, is. if you're it playing is. it in the crowd, it is, but if you're playing it in the crowd, they're gonna go, no. oh, that's not the point. But I don't, oh, but I don't hear point. that. What do you mean it's not that's the point? Not I don't hear that in the crowd. I'm like, yeah, it's that's the exactly. Bronx. That's it. That's it. It's that's the, question, the whole point. That's not it. It's the question: Top five songs from the Bronx or top? No, it's just the best. It's a battle. Best Bronx. It's a battle. The only criteria is you have to play songs from people from the Bronx. It's not right. the best Bronx record, not the big. It's yeah, like yeah. you're just playing people from the Bronx. Right. right. Song, 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 song. I didn't know right. Gallus was from That's the Bronx. It. He's from the Bronx. They didn't know that. Now you know. They didn't know that. And right. you would be in the crowd, and some girl would be like, he's from the Bronx. Oh, shit, he's from the Bronx. Oh, right. shit. But then when I, <laughs> when I put that shit on, <laughs> that was a lot. Of, but then when I put that shit on, niggas are singing, bitches are singing, dancing. It's over. Yeah, but it's like it's a, not, yeah, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it's oh, okay, that's my shit. I no, remember, that's not. I remember dancing this when I was five. Well, yeah, you were, I mean, like, <laughs> you were 100. Yeah, no, yeah, you're young. Yeah. So, yeah, you're not going to remember. Uh, so, that's fine. Uh, Beverly. So, 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 so the vote. Come on, son. Are we going with the old school or the new school is basically what it comes down to. You were doing with the kids? I'm, I mean, I'm going low, all 40 of them. Mm. Wow. Damn, I was going to go Gallus. Wow. You can wow. still go Gallus if you want. I did go Gallus. Right, cool. wow. I didn't know he was from the Bronx. That's fire. Ladies and fire. gentlemen. This is going to be a lot more debated in the comments than the Chris and Brown Usher battle. You think so? I well, think so. The Chris Brown Usher battle, I'm like, yeah, no. I, I flopped there. <laughs> but this one, this one is going to, because it really is about taste. It's like, all right, no, no, like, of course, of course. it's about taste, and, it's about and, the and, crowd. And don't, and, don't, and don't get me wrong, like, you played Fire yeah. records. That's why I, that last one I was like, not, damn, because I could have went, I could have went. But you know what? So Next time good. you gotta let Lo go first, cause yeah. yeah. 
He set it off, so I let him go first. I wanted to set the tone. I don't want right. to. But wanna you can't the set the tone because he doesn't see, follow the tone. See, and so that's, follow the tone. Oh, what I got to follow the tone? But see, that's, that's my <laughs> I would. I follow his own. Just that's my like, expertise okay. in, in, a, in a battle because we yeah. do this shit in Sahara all the time. Right. I always let motherfuckers go first, mm. right? It's I'm like not, Connect Four. I'm not yet. I'm not following your shit. <laughs> I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see where you're at. But if you lose a coin listen, flip, but just gonna be like you just asked out. But I'm, <laughs> I'm that nice, regardless. All right. I'm not. Clearly, I'm that nice. Listen, we are gonna talk to the comments. Clearly, I'm that nice. <sighs> Everybody, get into the comments right now. See who won that battle. Of Loki Bronx. is three and one mm. in versus battles here, right here on Say Less with Kaz. And Rosie. We gotta let well, y'all well, need well, I'm two one or something like that. You only did two battles. I, I won both. Yeah, so it's two. You could, it's two I, I have I have two. Oh, you're two one. Oh, you lost. So you're two one. Yeah, I have two one. Two one. I lost to you. Low two. Yeah, I lost the I lost the um the puck battle to you. I lost the low two. Yeah, you lost to me twice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry for you. <laughs> but I won Why both. Like <laughs> and you know what? You know what we should do? <laughs> she was like, oh. <laughs> no, we, you know, honestly, 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 and this is me not this is me not having sour grapes at all. This is what we should do. Okay. No. The final vote should be in the comments. Go to the commenters. Yeah. No. The but, final the final vote should go to the commenters. Like you know how long it's gonna take. But it's also, you know, you know how, how many people from not from New York are gonna vote? That's fine. That's, no, that's, that's not fine. fine. That's fine. But you, that's people fine. from people from not New York are gonna be at the battle. Like it's not gonna yeah, be I mean, like, oh, sure, whatever. Sure. Like that should be the final vote. The in studio vote is one thing, but the commenter vote. Well, until we do that, you lost. Until we do that, I have lost. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll take I'll take the people's choice vote. Any day of the week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will. So, people, get into the comments. Yes, like, we'll bro. do this every single week, too. If you guys are enjoying these nice, fun music themed battles that yeah. we do every week, yeah. get in the comments, talk about it. Yep. Uh, you tell us if it was what you, you would have played. Yeah. You tell us what uh, song you would have went what with. What songs you would have went the with. Counters. Tell us who yeah. won, yeah. Yeah. which battles you thought should have went either way, yeah. whatever you want. We'll be in there talking and with you. What battle you want next? Yes. Yes. And, and suggestions for the live battle because yes. we still don't have. We have to talk to. Yeah, we do. Thing. We do. Um, I was also gonna say, don't listen to me because I'm very biased to old school hip hop, <laughs> and like that gangsta, always rap that rapidy rap <laughs> gangsta. That's that's me. Always so. read your room. If you ever do a versus battle from your crib, like I did not expect you to play Johnny Blaze. I knew you was playing. Nigga, like, you knew Bonnie I was gonna TV. play that. I don't know, man. You don't asked know. Me play and that none shit of y'all right. played Corey Guns. Yeah, but like, what do you play? What what the Corey Guns record? Yeah, but see, see but that's my thing. If I played, I'm not playing foot, that. See, what? if I would, that's what I was thinking. That. If I would have played six foot seven foot low, like he's not even. He's mostly a Lil Wayne record. He's just a no, feature. No, no, no. When you, I hear six foot seven foot, I don't like, think Bronx. But people from the Bronx love that. Of course, I love the record. Right. But I was just like, damn, like. But in this I want battle, people outside of the Bronx to know Bronx records. So that's what I did. Like Capella Gray. No one knew he was from the Bronx. But everybody knows that record. Okay. That's, I get that. That's fire. I get that. I learned something new. If you're from, if you're from out of town. Like you in know, a versus battle, when like when the dream out, gets up and he plays a song nobody knew he wrote, yeah. that gets a reaction too. I have too. learned a lot from <laughs> verses in that. But that gets a reaction a too. You can't different. discount it. I'm not discounting it. It's a different it. sort of reaction. It's like, oh shit, he did this? Oh shit, okay. Yeah, that's like, true. Like, that's cool. Like that's, when Jada when does a John verse up, that nobody knew he wrote, right. but like it's a classic verse. A little John surprised me. I was like, you what? I didn't know that. Right, but then there are certain records that just- You need your music knowledge points too. No, I can put somebody on to people- or put somebody on some music facts and they're like, oh shit, I didn't know that. But there's just certain that counts for something. There are certain records that will always stand the test of time. Regardless, Gallus is a great fucking record. It mm -hmm. probably will go on for ages and you know, this and the four. But Big Pun and Joe, like that record. That record is never gonna die and never right. lose steam and never lose any kind of. Of course sauce. not. But there's you know also saying? young kids from the Bronx that are like, the Bronx is more than Fat Joe and Big Pun. I understand. And then you that. play Gallus and I they're I like, see, that. thank you. And, and I understand then, that. that. I understand that. that. But they still do know that record. <laughs> of course. And of they're still course. gonna resonate no one, with that record. No but that record is that. still being played to this day in their you're house, one. in the club, you're or one. whatever. You don't need to convince me. I guess you're trying to convince you shit, nigga. I'm two and one. I'm good. On. Not what I was trying to uh, say. Now <laughs> this. Now this, right? This is why I get competitive. Don't do that I was to just me, saying. I, I understand I what, what you're saying. All uh, I'm saying. And I get what you're saying, too. Reading a crowd means not just going with the records everyone knows. It goes with the records that they might not be up on, but they know of. So, right. yeah. whatever. Anyway, like I said, People's Choice Vote. Get in the comments. YouTube, Instagram, uh, TikTok, wherever it is. I'll tally all them shits. I'll look through all them joints. Mm -hmm. Please. I'll look through the comments as well. Oh, you know I'll be counting. I'll be like, well, you actually lost. <laughs> <laughs> you actually lost 20 to 10. Do not disturb. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we already did it. We'll do a running theme. And of course, last but not least, 
you go to Lowe's Say Less Apple Music playlist mm. Mm. for yeah. these playlists if mm. you want to just enjoy after you listen to this episode and you just know Bronx this ass mood. Is gonna be or if you're listening to the last episode and you're in the Usher and Chris Brown mood or Puff ass mood, yeah. Low the is the masters, owns, owns, all that. Low is a master ceremonies, master oh, playlist. To Get to that. To you. Fantastic. But stop slapping your thighs. That is That's disturbing. First off, that was my knee. Look, that, was a, that was a look, knee slapper. He looks naked, bro. Let's get knee. out of here. Purple. Let's get the fuck out of here. Ain't no ripple here, baby. It's all a steal. So hungry. At a steal. I got to go home to my book. Anyway, man, uh, this has been another episode of Say Less with Kaz, Loki, and Rosie. Thank you so much for kicking it with us. Once again, make sure you subscribe, youtube.com slash Kazim. Uh, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, yeah. Yeah. Facebook, yeah. wherever the hell you can find us. Just type in Say Less with Kaz, Loki, and Rosie on, on Google. You will find us some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. um, and anywhere you subscribe to podcasts. Uh, I want to say... Thank you so much to the good folks at uh, Spring Hill and Audible for this past weekend. You was out there uh, killing hosting, it. Killing it. It was an incredible Congrats. time. Congrats to you, man. Appreciate it. Shout out to uh, Kristen Price, Jamal Henderson, uh, Naomi Wright, uh, everybody over in the Spring Hill team, Fontanelli, Lauren, uh, all those guys that just put me in positions to look really fucking dope and do some dope <laughs> shit. Really dope. Yeah, man, I, that's all. I, I mean, I gotta, I gotta give it up to them, man. Like they really, um, you know, really take care of me out there. Wait, can you, so, all right, before we get out of here, can you speak to the experience of Keisha Cole? <laughs> you at the Sadiq? <laughs> so, so, so Kaz is at the Sadiq party. It's uh, uh, Julian. Not my guy, Sean Dickerson. Sean best Dickerson party in the world. Right? Yo, best party in LA. Highlight <laughs> ballroom every Wednesday. Yeah. R&B party, crazy. Yeah, everybody <laughs> there. So I'm, I'm, I'm in bed, right? So I'm just looking on Kaz's story and. I see Keisha Cole like right, right here, here. <laughs> and she's singing Let It Go. And she's like looking at Kaz, like looking Kaz in the camera, she like hell to my soul. Like, oh I don't my. know if she was uncomfortable. I'm like, yo, bro, back the fuck up. Can <laughs> <So, laughs> like, I tell you yo, how please, this yo, happened? Save that video. Can so I have this? this I'll, I'll send this video to you. Uh, like, so what happened was up. we were just coming back from uh, we were just leaving the uh the uh the Spring Hill uninterrupted party. Uh, which our good friend Miss Nix was DJing. Yeah. Nas performed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, shout out to good folks Spring Hill putting that together. Everybody, like every, everybody who was at the ESPYs was at this party. Right. It was phenomenal. And um, rolled up at Wale, my brother Wale, uh, uh, Young there, Chris, right? Flex Cartel. Was that um, Money out there? Money, yeah. DJ Money. He yeah. DJed that night as well. He called me. He called me like. So, you know, uh, as soon as we left, as soon as Nas was wrapping up, while I was like, yo, we out. So we got in the van, go to the party. And it was already rocking mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. And money's on the set. Mm. But the only section that was left was the section literally right next to the DJ booth mm. where money was at. Mm. And it was literally only space for like four of us. So he was like, yo, I only say y'all guys. So it was me, Wale. I see young Chris was Chris yeah. and um, gosh, I think, and Phil, Phil Ade. So Mosey on in there, who's already there? Keisha Cole, right. wonderful woman, super sweet, super nice. We're all drinking, all having a good time, nice. all this type of stuff. She's super, you know, lovely. Have just like, lovely, yeah. lovely fucking yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah. Um, but when you're in the club, and I hadn't been in the club in a long time. It's been a while, yeah, you know been, what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't been <laughs> and, you know, I just mosey on right. There's literally nowhere for me to go. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a closed off table like this, where it's people here, people there, people there. Yeah. And literally, I'm just, it's just me and Keisha Cole, like, right fucking here. Right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Sean, Sean hosting the party, grabs the mic, introduces Keisha Cole, hands her the microphone, and then she just starts fucking singing. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it's the club and people singing. All of a sudden, you just see the, the camera flashes. The, yeah, yeah the, of course. The highlight lights coming on. So I'm like, oh, shit. All right, I guess I, I can do it too. <laughs> and mind you, my flight's in like three hours, so I'm just like, shit. Okay. Cat's looking like her bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I felt like her bodyguard at one point, so I'm like, all right, I guess I, I just can't fucking move because yeah. people are people are just people like, like are literally in. leaning yeah, over yeah. to get all the info. So I'm a big dude. I'm like, I can stand my ground and shit. So I'm just standing on my ground for a while, and you know, there's fucking legendary R&B artist singing like the songs of my childhood. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like Rosie. Cass became the dude on Snapchat. Bro, Rosie, when I when I woke up, I'm literally in bed 
and I'm just scrolling through stories, and all of a sudden, a big ass face of Keisha Cole pops up on my phone. I'm like, I'm like, what is? I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, nigga, back the f- like she's singing, letting go. You don't think, low, low, low. You don't think I would have backed up if I had the facilities to? I'm just like, yo, bro, I'm you literally. Dr- I'm like, I don't know. The fact that you recorded it, I don't think. I, I had no one. To- there was a million other cameras on here. I was like, well, it was. I just won't get this. It was so close. I'm just like. You know, like, might as well get this shit. So oh yeah. My God. But yeah and, and also speaking of R and B legends, um, we just went to a concert last week. Mary J. Blige uh performed Uptown uh for Apple Music Live. It's coming out July 29th. And when I tell you this is one of the best R and B experiences that I've ever seen in my life. If you've seen Mary perform, you know exactly what you're about to get when they stream this July 29th. She performed every hit. Reminisce, uh, You Bring Me Joy, Real World, What's the Four, everything you can think of. A true New York legend. Um, no wardrobe change, no f- guest features, none, none of that. Everything was just solo records, and she was just going sh- just for the gusto. Mm. So, yeah, Mary J. Blige, Apple Music Live, uh, July 29th. And <laughs> when you took. <laughs> I just texted a video. Uh, the video's in the group chat. All right, we out. Uh, so <laughs> see, y'all do this all the fucking time when I try to be serious. It's in the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Can I say, can I say, she can gave I me two it? looks like, nigga, you are very close. And I was That's what like, I was referring to. I was like, I have nowhere else to go. I'm like, yo, I'm like, at least put your phone down, bro. I just, I, it was literally those 30 seconds was the only time I had the phone up. I was like, Bro, look right. at her. It's, <laughs> it's. <laughs> I can't and wait. I, and I was and I was she singing was to like a motherfucker. I could, yeah, I, I could not Yo, wait. Yo, Keisha could be as nice as she want. Don't forget. Don't forget. I'm surprised she told me not to back. Don't forget what, no. how we feel about Keisha. If, if we did it, if we <laughs> if we had it, if we had not spoke and hung out Keisha. for like a good 20, 30 minutes before oh, you are, that, you, you are, we was already ch- there. Oh, we was okay, all I there. She was still probably like he. But I was. I had nowhere else to go. I didn't know you were chilling with her. Nah, we was all in the same section for a minute. How about put your phone down? Yo, when y'all see this, when y'all see this clip, y'all. How about put God. your fucking phone down? Kid? The most dad shit I've ever did. I was just like, <laughs> go, go. <laughs> See? No, but her way look, she, just let no, it go. the way she looked at you, she said. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I got scared from you. Yo, she's from Oakland. I got so scared. I thought she was gonna be like, yo, my nigga, back the fuck up. <laughs> like that's what the video oh, looks it's, like. It's if if you could funny, see, it's funny. Yeah, well, you'll see all the other angles, but there's yeah. literally hundreds of people around us. So it wasn't you're the gonna, other. You're gonna see this. She looked very annoyed. It looked crazy, she looked but she looked extremely well. annoyed. And you still extremely posted and you it. Still, <laughs> show it in. <laughs> show it in. <laughs> I was like, damn, do I post this? I was like, get this. I was like, do I edit it? I was like, nah. We're just gonna I, put it around. I would have boomeranged it to the part where she did look at me. I would have been, been a dickhead and tagged it. <laughs> I, tagged I, did, I tried to tag her. She can't be tagged in the uh, video. Oh my god, I'm out of here. I was like, oh, I wish she could have been tagged. But shout out Sean Dickerson. Shout yeah, out yeah, everybody yeah. at uh, Sadiq. And I shout out Mary J. Blige. LA. Shout Nick out Mary J. Blige, Wale. Bye. All the wonderful people I got to fucking see this weekend that I haven't seen forever. <laughs> fucking Raven, uh, Taylor. <laughs> Fucking Zuri, oh, everybody out there was so fucking great. Thank you, Spring Hill Company. Funny. And um, that's it, man. Uh, shout out to everybody who uh, will listen to the episode, continue to support. And uh, like we always do at this time, stay free, stay safe, and always say less. And stay out my face. Yeah, stay the fuck away from people. <laughs> people have a personal bubble, cuz. Shit. Yo, this thing has no regard for personal space. I couldn't move. I couldn't move, yo.